हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू द डे वन ऑफ द सेमी फाइनल ऑफ मैग्नस कार्लसन इन्विटेशनल चेस टूर्नामेंट एंड द गेम्स हैव बिगन बट वी हैव गेस्ट इन आवर आवर स्टूडियो प्लीज वेलकम फिर मास्टर और इंटरनेशनल मास्टर ओके सो इंटरनेशनल मास्टर का मेरे प्लीज था सो थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग अस एंड ही इज ही हैज डन मेनी कोर्सेज ऑन चेसेबल सो ही इज माई कोलीग एट चेसेबल एंड वी वुड लाइक टू नो मोर अबाउट हिम हिज कोर्सेज एंड हिज हिज सर्च फॉर द इंटरनेशनल मास्टर टाइटल If I am not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. Uh, thank you for for having me. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, can you tell us how uh, Chessable happened for you? Like, uh, maybe we can check the games uh, in the opening, and then w- once uh, they start to slow down, we can uh, talk about it. If you if you are fine with that. Uh so of course uh, yeah uh, normally uh, this is like considered some kind of uh, you know i, I think uh, nepo is uh, certainly uh, hiding his preparation for the candidates it's uh, it was very obvious from his uh, his games uh, playing modern defense and so on so e, as far as i know uh, e5 knight a, knight d5 knight b5 is kind of uh, you know Uh, like many players from black side play this in order to keep some chances okay sometimes they might lose this pawn but the fact that uh, uh, black has this nice square on d5 kind of compensates very complex uh, game arises after such a thing um, but here magnus plays knight b5 i think it's uh, it could be said that he was ready for this and uh, he, in my opinion he went for something uh, which is uh, simple uh, usually nepo likes complications as we already have seen multiple times uh, so ha- have you analyzed uh, knight b5 uh, by any chance in your courses somehow it featured in that uh, no no i normally in my d4 course i went for the carls but so uh and uh-huh. you know for the the second part of after knight of 6 i went for the chompovsky so i uh-huh. i just yeah i just didn't have this position okay uh, but i know i know that your countryman uh, so i don't know if i'm going to pro- uh, pronounce surya surya no, i i'm not sure surya maybe surya but i think swapnil do do pade ah, swapnil do pade okay is he doing the vienna slash bank repertoire on uh, i i know he's doing he's making a course but i don't know uh, if uh, it was on uh, vienna or uh, uh, i don't I, know the opening i'm almost sure that it's swapnil okay okay yeah, he's doing the course on that okay so uh, anyway knight uh, b5 knight e4 uh, queen a4 uh, c6 knight c3 it it seems pretty normal uh, moves to me like uh, <laughs> i know that many games went uh, like sixth move e5 but uh, here world champion is just playing something simple against uh, nepo what is uh, uh, would you go for such a uh, you know simple setups or you want you are always searching for some complications Uh, I personally try to look for complications and for some okay. dynamic play but okay yeah. Marcus, so he definitely wants to get some light edge. By sure. the way I think that 50 years ago people would just call you crazy for going so, for such a position uh, like absolutely absolutely yeah. like uh, to play b5 uh, 50 years ago is not even like you know you just you you will be stopped immediately <laughs> not yeah. even Uh, and even uh, this position that we have it would it would be like pl- plus equal said it's okay white is better don't yeah. go there so just some qu- uh, oops uh just a minute uh yeah uh so queen d3 uh knight g5 uh try to force him play g6 get the knight to e4 and uh, bishop h6 is uh, one idea which comes to my mind and uh, obviously he uh, i mean white can also think of starting with uh, knight g5 which uh, which is probably also interesting um so i like white's position here maybe it's not uh, it's not uh, it's not that of uh, that big advantage but uh, 
it's it's simple uh, it's quite simple for uh, white to make moves like just you know normal moves and uh, he has he's running no risk whatsoever so i think uh, it's it's a great uh, choice by magnus yeah by the way if black gets c5 in under good circumstances suddenly he can be slightly better yeah. right so i will just make a random move so that i will get get your c5 in yeah. a good good like circle one maybe okay yeah 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 so something like this uh, then of course uh, black gets the knight to d5 uh, white has uh, isolated pawn and uh, slowly black will bring the rooks and uh, take control of this but uh, of course this is like uh, you know white uh, white kind of helps black uh, to 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 get knight d7 first because uh, c6 is hanging i mean knight d7 is still not possible first i think he should go either queen c8 or uh, queen to c7 and then get knight d7 um yeah i don't know he uh, here nepo i mean he doesn't like <laughs> he has uh, 16 minutes 45 seconds uh, perhaps it doesn't mean anything um uh, but uh, i don't know how uh, how he is uh, so confident about this position <laughs> uh the game against Naka, that where he like crushed Berlin with this rook takes a fight. Yeah, he like yeah. he also didn't use any time. I think in that game. Uh, yeah, that like, game. Like only last game, last move. I think he only thought about. Yeah, that game. I thought he was uh, he was definitely uh, well prepared, and uh, he was uh, he he used maybe some really uh, strong novelty in uh, in such a game. So it was uh, really uh, interesting. And uh, I think Magnus will think a bit. Of course, he has uh, various choices here. He can go rook b1, queen d3 with the idea of knight g5. Uh, also, there is one uh, like very solid idea just to bring the bishop here, exchange this bishop, uh, get the knight to e5. Of course, uh, this is like, you know, a little bit of uh, lazy man's chess, uh, but uh, who knows, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, hello everyone uh, who uh, who are joining us uh, in the chat and uh, we see uh, you know we have uh, some uh, most of them are coming every day and uh, some of the Indians are uh, you know some of them are Indians who are uh, um, staying late like 2 a.m. or something because the, it, it finishes really late for them. So thank you all. Uh, we have some moves. So rook b1, in fact, has been played, and uh, queen to c7. Um, so of course, uh, he, uh, black needs to protect uh, c6 pawn. So I think we will see. Uh, will the game will uh, progress a bit slower than the first, uh, you know, ten moves, we, we, uh, which were just blitzed out. Uh, so then we can speak about your journey, uh, the chessable and. Uh, uh, so thank you, Karthik Chess, uh, for writing. Uh, and uh, um, so please uh, tell us where do you live and uh, how did you get into chess and why did you, I mean, not why did you get into chess, but chessable uh, uh, courses. Yeah, so maybe the good that that's basically a good question. Why did I get to chess? Uh, <laughs> uh, I have no idea. I have okay. no idea. Yeah, but but uh, yeah, the story is that when I was nine years old, we were uh, on. Wow, wow! I just realized something. Yeah, so when I was nine years old, we were we, me and my family went to vacation, and then there was one day where there was raining all the time. So my father decided to, to teach me some board game, and okay, there was chess. So this is how it started, and I just realized that the place where we went to vacation uh, is this place where I live now. Okay. Ah, okay, that's uh, that's really funny, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's really it's, funny. I, I only realized it at the moment, so yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah, I live in the uh, town called Kołobrzeg, uh, and it's uh, located at the Polish Baltic Sea. So mm -hmm. uh, we, me and my fiance, we wanted to live in some town close to the Baltic Sea, but we just wanted to avoid those, you know, three big towns: Gdańsk, Gdynia, and Sopot. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and we wanted to live in some town that is pretty big, but not too, but okay, not not too small because most towns here 
are just working for like three, four months a year, and then there is a complete silence, like uh, f- like in a horror movie, right? Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, for those of you who do not know, he uh, Kamil is from Poland, so the these three towns are uh, yeah. uh, north of uh, Poland, right? Or east, yes, yes. north of Poland. No, no, yeah. no, no. Yes. North, yeah. yes. So basically, the town that I'm living in is the only town, besides those three that I've mentioned, that is like dead just close to the Baltic Sea, like I live two kilometers straight from from it Mm -hmm. at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is this is where I live now. And basically, how how did I uh, get to Chesable? So yeah, I I just uh, realized that a friend of mine, Polish international master, Mm-hmm. Yeah, the second international master from Poland that we meet today. That's the uh, real one, the real one. The real one, yeah. <laughs> uh, Piotr Nguyen, he, he was... Yeah, yeah I know yeah, him. He, I know he, him. He, he did a course uh, on the Accelerated Dragon back in 2018. And I was talking to him and he said that there's this site uh, called Chessable. And I was basically working with Chessbase a lot since 2015, 2016, because this was okay. this, this is something crazy because working yeah. on openings is my passion. I like doing this. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I wrote an email to David Kramley. I suggested some courses that I could be doing. He mm-hmm. said that, okay, the Trompowski seems like a very good idea. And mm-hmm. this is how it started, basically. Yeah. Uh, and how many courses uh, you have uh, recorded so far? Like uh, seven. Seven. Wow. Yeah, yeah. In the span yeah. of uh, three years. No, two years. Maybe less. Two years. Two years, yeah. Uh, that's really tough, uh, uh, tough guys. Uh, and from my own experience, it's uh, it's really tough. And uh, definitely, you should check out uh, Camille's courses. I, uh, are your courses sale uh, right now? Uh, at the moment, I don't think so. They were a sale. But uh, just, uh, ju- just uh, okay. I have to promote my own courses. Uh, do check out uh, <laughs> my <laughs> Timon, of course, and uh, French Toast. Both of the both the courses are on sale. Uh, just for today and uh, tomorrow so uh, get get uh, get the course before uh, the sale ends it's a nice discount spring sale discount and um, uh, after you got into chessable like you made the first course uh, which which was your first course like for me my first course is always uh, a special course the, the French toast, right? Yes, it, it just toast. just because uh, you know it's my first course and uh, that was my learning uh, experience, so that's why it it is it remains a special uh, course for me. Yeah. So first, I will refer to what you said that it's very tough to create those courses, but one thing has to be clarified: the course that you have done on, uh, for example, on on the time of it is like how 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 much variations like. How many? Uh, 1,200? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1,200, yeah. Yeah, so so basically I have never done such, such a course because you did the lifetime repair tour, the big one, yeah. right? Yes, yes. So for example, my first course on the Trombowski, it was like 130 variations. Sure. And, okay. Yeah, so th- it was like much easier to do for sure Yeah. Uh, than this, this, the, this one that you have done. Mm-hmm. And basically my biggest course up to this day is on the King's Indian and it contains like 650 variations plus okay. mobile games. Okay. Like this. So, okay. yeah, so that's definitely okay. easier to do. And yeah. I definitely know what you say about why is it hard because at the moment I'm in the progress of finishing my course on the King's Indian attack via the Knight of 3 G3 move order. Uh-huh. You can imagine all the transpositions <laughs> there. And yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. And basically I cover everything, everything, even okay. Even more than that, because at the moment I'm at 1,450 lines. Ah, yeah, of course, this this will be big. This will yes, be huge. yes, yes. Yeah. So, so basically, the beta starts today slash tomorrow, and yeah, uh-huh. I'm very excited about that because I started the work in mid November. Uh huh. Yeah. So, so, so it's 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 really really a lot of work in progress, but yeah. I'm I'm really proud of that. This is a work of passion because this is what I play for many many years with white. Okay. And. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and also I would like to ask, uh, like, uh, while preparing this course, like you have pandemic, like one of the important things is you have pandemic and people are feeling uh, um, a kind of hopelessness, like, you know, staying at home, uh, not knowing when this will end, not knowing when they will meet their friends uh, or travel and so on. Uh, I I can imagine that it it, it is quite uh, hard to uh, to keep up with uh, you know the work and uh, yet be motivated and uh, try to you know give the best for the students. So how did you manage to do that? 
uh, I mean, uh, maybe what helps is that firstly I like doing this. I really like it. It's not. I okay. never f feel like I have to push myself. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is that I like I like to work in a way that let's say I have four months of time and my work will take two months. Okay. Some people will like work two days and take two days off. Some people will yeah. like work one week and take one week off. I do it completely differently. I like take two months off and two months of hard work without any free day. Right, right. And basically when I was, when I st like started working on the theory in November, that was like some preparations, but a serious mm -hmm. work started in mid January and mm -hmm. up, let's say the beginning of the March, I had like one free day mm -hmm. working on average, I, I would say six hours a day, something like yeah. this. Yeah, and, and maybe this pandemic also in some way helps with this because yeah. normally I would have like five different things to do and now I just don't. Yes. Yeah, uh, so here I uh, I see, uh, uh, we can see that uh, in the game, um, yeah, uh, any advice on how to choose opening repertoire? I am around 2100 feel, uh, LO FIDE. So we in a concert from chat asks, uh, uh, asks chat. Um, so, uh, I believe that, uh, opening repertoire is, uh, definitely, um, a choice of, uh, per that particular person. Obviously some players like to play aggressive. Some players like to play positional, you know, you, you can, uh, uh and you cannot copy, uh, another player because uh, you have to choose what you are liking, uh, in the dynamics of chess. And uh, that's how you should choose. But if you say you like certain thing, then I can, of course, uh, uh, of course, I can suggest based on your preference. Uh, I cannot suggest a general uh, opening. I, I that's how I see it. Uh, it's not just twenty one hundred, but uh, any 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 rating. I think. Uh, so here, I I I think uh, it's roughly equal. Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, it's I say roughly equal because uh, somehow the uh, the probability of both uh, the, you know all these pawns getting exchanged here seems very high, and uh, if some uh, rooks uh, are exchanged, it should be uh, around it should be draw here. Um, but we'll see. But let's uh, let's take a look at uh, Anish because we haven't really uh, seen the, his game. Uh, so okay, once again, it's uh, <laughs> it's good that we do not see queen d4, queen e4. Uh, in 14 moves, we would have finished. But uh, it's nice that Anish, uh, you know, continues uh, play. Yeah. So uh, I... if I if if I can tell one thing about the person who asked about the opening repertoire. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. so, so... I'm not sure if this question was to me, but I will try to answer. No, no, definitely. One thing. I will definitely. try to answer one thing because yeah. uh, there is this this thing in chess that I learned very late because I have never had a coach, is that very often we should base our openings on the on our favorite pawn structures that we like to play. For example, no matter how many hours I would try to learn to like learn the Grunfeld, I never understand this opening. Both with black with white, I'm always getting worse positions. <laughs> like I never understand wh when black goes f5, what's going on. I never understand when the pawn on d5 and d6 is weak, when it's strong. And no matter how how good I will ever be, I will never play the Grunfeld because I just don't get it. <laughs> Although there are positions like which the engine gives like plus zero six, plus zero seven even after the opening, which I love playing with with black. Uh, okay, in just just rapid blitz games, but but I just love it. And basically, you should base your opening repertoire, I think, on the positions that you not only enjoy, but you understand. And, and yeah. You just feel them. You just feel yeah. them. Like you play the position and you know what to do. You don't have to even learn the theory. You know what to do. So, yeah. so those are the core, I would say, of your repertoire. I, I think uh, that's a nice, uh, nice way to uh, understand which direction you should go in in terms of opening and here i just want to point one thing i think uh wesley went knight b6 uh with the idea of playing a4 and uh, anish recognized this and played a4 uh, you know to stop any kind of uh, uh counterplay on the queen side uh, but uh, probably he should have uh, played a4 uh, before anish could uh, you know close this a4 and after move like b4 of course he can uh, play knight b6 or whatever and then get the bishop um 
I mean, if B takes A4 is not really, uh, I don't think uh, that's what Anish would do uh, because uh, of course you uh, you can play rook a b1, I have to take knight a4. Uh, I will just show that rook a4 is not possible because of rook b6, rook a2 and uh, black, white will just uh, bring back the rook. Uh, maybe knight, knight a4. The game goes on. I I, I don't uh, I don't think it's uh, better for white, but after a4, I like I like white's position. Just uh, you know, the, uh, the four pawns are nicely stopped by uh, I can't draw the arrows, but you know the d4, b3, a4 is restricting you know all these things, and the knight is unable to reach to d5, which would be ideal for him. Uh, you know, if this pawn on e4 doesn't exist. Um, and basically, the only way to improve the knight is to just go to d7, b8, a6 before, I guess, or or to just go f5, something like yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. This is a uh, this is also a, a very typical idea. Really nice, uh, nice idea here. Uh, and uh, yeah, f5, uh, f5 is uh, is maybe uh, it's possible, but uh, I think uh, one, uh, we have to calculate uh, if something is fine. I mean, wrong with knight e5 or so on. Uh, he went bishop to g4, uh, rook e1, h6. Yeah, so now he wants to play f5, not allowing a... No, no. What is the point of h6 then? Uh, so maybe he wants to take bishop f3, knight takes f3, and then f5. So after, you know, once the pawn moves, then he can just get knight d5, and there is no knight g5. I, I don't know exactly what, what was his point, rook e3. Rook e7, rook a1, rook a8, queen c3, queen h5. You know what I don't like in this whole thing? That black is just playing um, uh, not not much of counter he has. You know, this pawn is nicely protected. This uh, Actually, black needs to defend this pawn on a5. And, uh, you know, move like queen h5 is needed in order to protect. So something I, I am not a big fan of. I don't know if you like this. I would, you know, I would really seek for some kind of breakthrough uh, in the center. So I want to get the knight to d5 and b4 possible. This really resembles me, the Grunfeld. So <laughs> the horror for me, you know, because yes. I have the center and I never know what to do. Yeah. With. Yeah, I, I just have a question from uh, Red Grifflinder. Um, uh, so his question is, what to do if uh, all I practice is the Italian or French and my opponent plays different moves together, like d4, then I'm all at c. What should I do in that case? Um, I think it's, it's really difficult nowadays that you just prepare against one e4. That's not really fair because one d4, one knight f3, c4 and you know even b3 you should uh, you should pre just to have some idea you know one thing which uh which could be very uh useful is to understand the positioning of uh, pawns you know pawns cannot come back so if you just push the pawns uh, without much of idea much of an idea then you are going to regret it and uh, definitely keep an eye on pawn structures it's uh, i think somehow underestimated uh, in in chess i believe uh, so we have uh, giri and uh, so wesley cameras uh, on the screen uh, and uh, what is hidden cup what is the hidden cup let me check anyone watching That's the hidden some cup some sports stuff i guess yeah, some game. I don't know. Uh, Age of Empires. What's? Oh yes. So so this is eSport, right? Ah uh, yeah. Age yeah, of yeah. Empires too. Uh, ah, sorry, okay. I I'm more of a more Counter Strike guy. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, so you are into eSports, right? I mean, or... I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when I have some free time, I like to shoot people. Uh. <laughs> via the internet of course yeah 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 i i, I he he mentioned it hidden cup uh, of age of empires uh so yeah red griffon there and uh, you know they are they are coming uh, on the uh, stream from the day one i believe so the, uh you know helping us have good interaction uh i i like okay f5 has been played 
I mean, if something like e5, you go rook a8, defend the a5 pawn, get the knight to d5. Of course, now you have knight d5, knight e3, but uh, in general, I'm uh, trying to point queen a5. Now the issue is with the queen actually. Uh, f takes e4 is not possible because of queen h5. And g4 is a big threat. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, bishop f7, g4, yes, nice. Uh, uh, so fg4 has been played and queen c3, wow. And, and black still has this, this bad knight on this. Piece. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, one of the key things is when you have bad pieces, you need to visualize where to uh, uh which which square uh, it can make a difference you know uh so right now i can't see such a square for this knight unfortunately yeah i even tried to look for some kingside stuff nothing <laughs> nothing <laughs> nothing and also neither of this bishop uh, i mean this bishop is nice but the pop the main key point of uh, white's uh, control over this whole thing is that e4 it stops knight d5, bishop d5, and the activity of both the rooks. Uh, and here, uh, what is this? Is g3 a threat or not? Uh, I mean, g3 of... Yeah, g3 might be a serious threat here. Because if you take knight d5, right? The... Knight d5 uh, is one. I, I'm not sure if queen f4 is dangerous, but definitely let's take knight d5. Uh, I mean, why not? Yeah, g3. Uh, why can't I play? Okay, it's white to play. Uh, so how do we do this? Okay, a5, let's say. So g3. No, uh, here we have a problem. So I can't a5 do that. a5 is not a good way. To yeah, say. a5 is not a good way. Um, I, I, okay. maybe, then, maybe then a5 is a move, right? Yeah, a5 is a move uh, because knight d5 is not possible and uh, then he must go either to d7 or uh, c8. I, I think d7 makes more sense because at some point you can bring and maybe try to attack the f4 pawn or play g3 here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what... Uh, I. I, I think it's unclear, but just from the pieces, uh, you know, piece positions, I'm not sure, like, what is happening. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, I see um, not much has happened. One pair of rooks have been exchanged in Magnus Carlsen, Nepomnia, she's game. I think that should uh, end in a draw somehow. So Suddenly, black is really standing nicely in the center. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Queen is... Uh, Queen is, uh, Queen is, uh, yeah. The, the, he he may he managed to get a nice uh, grip. Yeah. Um. So maybe uh, G three, King G two. Yeah. White never raised anything, right? No. I think a five can be uh, an option here. Um. Because then he can, uh, you know, move this rook. Uh, I I'm not sure exactly where i am going but uh, definitely this is something which uh, he is considering um and what is uh, what are your future plans are you going to okay we have a five so at least we predicted something <laughs> so uh, are you planning to write more courses are you going uh, going to uh, coach uh, start coaching or uh, uh, f f try to finish your i am uh, title w yeah, what the, are the goal was to finish my i am title but unfortunately uh -huh. uh, something stopped it and there are no tournaments running yeah. at the moment mm -hmm. uh, also uh in october uh, my daughter was born so it also changes changes mm -hmm. a lot of things yeah 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 for sure okay. and and yeah uh, i'm not sure i'm going to get to coaching i was coaching for some time but i decided that if I'm born to do something, then it's chessable courses. Okay, so yeah. you, are, you are fully focused on uh, on uh, chessable courses and uh, to improve. Uh, uh, but while making chessable courses, uh, did you feel that you learned uh, some new uh, themes, new structures, uh, or something like any new concepts? That's uh, that, that you felt like, oh, yeah, uh, by making this course while studying for this course, I did learn this. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially that my full repertoire is based on my courses. Uh -huh. And yeah, so basically I'm sharing 100%. And I would even say more than my knowledge because uh, normally when 
uh, I'm not, I'm sure it doesn't work on your level, but on my level, when you learn some variation, you just learn it's like the suitable amount to yourself. You just don't learn much more than you need mm. to know. But when you do the course, then suddenly you have to analyze everything slightly deeper, yeah. especially for those lifetime repair tours. Because, sure. okay, let's let's assume there is some line that I say, okay, firstly, this never happens in practice. Secondly, okay, I, I just don't care because the chance to meet this is so low that I don't want to spend too much time on that. Yeah. And and then you think, okay, you just can't do it to people. You just have to mm. analyze it, right? Yes. And, and you just have to go for it. And yeah. I discovered so many new things while working on those courses. So things that I have would never even thought of, thought about. And mm -hmm. uh, what's what is going on? Uh, so instead of A5, he went knight D F1. Uh, mm -hmm. Now G3. Um, knight takes g3 he is gonna take queen f4 is there some some kind of yeah ideas like that's this a, that's exactly what i was starting to think because about like knight f5 d5 yeah knight f5 rook e4 is probably uh the reason but you can start with d5 but then knight takes d5 so this is the like kind of problem here but uh, if you start with a5, of course you have knight d5. Thank you, Red Gryffindor, for your uh, 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 you know uh, that you are enjoying uh, the, uh, our commentary and also the guests on. Maybe we start with rook f3. Uh, rook f3, yes. Okay, let's see. Okay, what, he didn't play it, but yeah, he played uh, knight f5, but he didn't play rook e4. So what's wrong with uh, rook takes e4? There must be something. Uh... Because after d5, I'm gonna take this. Mm -hmm. There's no rook g3. Uh, ah, maybe. Maybe we just take once, go rook f1, but why would it work? Queen g5. Uh, because d5, I take yeah, d5. Take. Can we have the cameras? I, I'm not sure if. Oh, yeah, he missed it. He missed it. He missed okay. rook e4. Uh, because he he shook his head, so I think uh, he missed it. Oh, so that was the point, right? Yes. But yeah, uh, that's why I, I love live chess. You know, when you don't yes. know about the evaluation, sometimes just look at your opponent. He will tell you. Yeah. No, no, it's clear. You can see the you can see their cameras, and uh, he missed it. He, he missed it and uh, I mean because I, I don't see it and I'm trying to figure if he had seen something which we missed so and uh, yeah exactly this uh, this is the issue and that's why I wanted to have this a5 and move this knight away so you would never have this knight d5 uh, trick. Uh, the other in, option was I think to go for g3 with white even in the worst case scenario like uh, don't you allow that here? Yes, you mean here even, yes even here yeah like if black goes queen h3 suddenly he might run out to, out, out of squares after something like h5 let's say yeah yeah this is exactly the problem but but yeah. I, i'm not sure how good positionally it is to to place upon on g3 but i don't think it harms your position in any way no definitely not yeah but uh, the... and, uh this is something i would do in blitz and rapid many times yeah. because then i don't have to worry about g3 any <laughs> anymore yes so this is the current position right now uh uh like uh I mean, I, I think uh, somehow uh, Anish was counting on the move d5 uh, pretty much. And uh, I don't know. I don't think he missed rook f1, queen g5, that uh, pawn is protected. That seems very unlikely. Or maybe he missed that g5 square. That could be uh, an explanation. Oh, you think he, he might? He thought he will trap the queen? Yeah, yeah. But rook f1 even, I think, knight d5 works? I'm not sure. Excellent point. Yeah, knight d5 indeed. Because there is, you know, rook f4, knight c3, and I protect the rook. Uh, but uh, one thing, if I go queen d3, because you you can't, you can't protect Oh, now the... I run out of squares. Yeah, 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 now you run out. But, uh, yeah, because yeah. the point is after knight b4, let's you say, can take. rook f4 and knight d3, now the knight is not protecting uh, from c3, unlike the... Pre... No, queen g5, Wesley uh, plays very simple. Hmm. Can you tell me difference between 2500, 26 and 2700? Thanks for the great, uh, thank you. Um, that's a difficult question. Uh, I would say uh, several uh, things uh, matter. I Wow, 
um i i will explain but let's uh, let's see what's going on here so queen takes h6 rook takes f7 right no but you ha i have rook f4 that's what oh. i i think he missed everything okay. queen f4 rook f4 what's this knight f5 knight h6 uh, uh, if i were taking with the pawn works Right. Yeah, I think even pawn, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe some rook f3, but this is so... I mean, knight d5. This is no. very hope, chess. No, 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 this is no. lost. This is yeah. lost. I think this is just It just collapsed, right? Yeah, I think uh, the... Uh, I think there is not so much difference. Uh, hi, Gonda. Hi, uh, uh, all of all the viewers who are joining us. Uh, I think the difference between, uh, let's say few points like maybe 50 or 100 points yeah so obviously one i think uh somehow anish missed some somewhere uh the main uh, uh one of the main things i would say is uh confidence uh which uh, which kind of uh do not waste your time in rechecking again and again and again and uh quite often it happens to many players that they are unsure and uh they are rechecking the same uh, variation and at some point they see some kind of uh, ghost and then they play some other move and that is uh, one of the main difference I think from 2600 or I mean not just this 2500 2600 but I feel the difference of uh, let's say 100 points or so um, at least that's that's how I feel it uh, so I can be wrong I hope one day I will be able to uh, to answer this question. I also hope so. <laughs> uh, when you said that there is this confidence thing, it's uh, it's one thing I quite often repeat that you have to like believe in yourself one hundred percent when you play. Yeah. Yeah, and and uh, for me it's like I, when I when you said that you that people are rechecking those variations, so I do it often, but not because I'm not confident, but because I can calculate properly. Uh -huh, for, okay. for example, yeah. Yeah, this is a, this is a, a different case. Like obviously there are two types. Uh, some of them uh, like the visualization kind of a thing, like to uh, to understand like where is where the tactics are and uh, so on that's a different uh, like uh, another uh, uh, argument but uh, generally i feel that uh, the stronger the player uh, is he uh, he or she is uh, playing um, as quickly as possible you know uh, you, like i i also saw many times when the time is uh, less uh, in end games especially so they are just playing on their feed oh thank you chess dojo life uh, oh this uh, the one who is following right now i cannot pronounce can you pronounce that uh, yeah it's called uh, yeah good luck <laughs> uh, uh, oh no no i will i will it's too difficult man yeah this is this is trolling I guess. Yes, yes. People are trolling. Thank you, Chess. Uh, uh, that is David Bruce uh, from uh, my good friend, uh, Chess Dojo Live. Uh, he he's raiding. I guess you know what is a raid, yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you for all of you who are joining. And uh, yeah, please uh, let me know if you have some questions for me or uh, um, Kamil. Yeah, I know, guys. I mean, I will try to pronounce this. This is a challenge for me. Is that good? I was I close? Okay, I think I close. Okay, close is already great, great stuff. I, seems like a place is already. Close is good. I mean, uh, uh, do you remember that, that there was in 2010, I guess, there was this volcano eruption in yes, Iceland? Yes, there yes, was this, yes. this name, you know, for two pages. Like, yeah, I, I, I at least for this reason, I don't want anything to happen with uh, Icelandic names because uh, it was such a struggle to <laughs> pronounce this name, and it happened during. Uh, <laughs> during the match between Anand and Topolov and Anand had to take a take some kind of van uh, to travel from Frankfurt to 
Sophia. So I do remember this very, uh, very well. Yeah, give me some tough names. I will try to pronounce and uh, you can uh, you can correct me if I am wrong. I, I like this uh, different languages and so on. Do you like, uh, you know, do you speak any other languages apart from mm. Pol Polish and uh, English? No, not really. No, no, uh, not really. I would love to speak, you know, Spanish, uh, but I never had the motivation to do it. And in my at, in school, when I was uh, when I was learning, there was the choice between German and Russian. So and you picked what Polish? And I picked Russian. <laughs> ah, but you can speak Russian then. Uh, no, 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 no. I no. was learning. I can speak it. It's just you know. <laughs> ah, so I, it's. I was doing everything not to learn it and just pass yeah. school. No, no, I, I just can speak a little, but little just bit. some basic, best, some okay. basics, you know. So, uh, no, I, I will don't... always be able to order a, a beer, I guess. So. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think uh, Magnus Carlsen will be flagged here, uh, but I do prefer uh, Black's position. I'm, uh, he's uh, threatening to capture on uh, a5, but uh, on the other hand, you know why Black's king is a little bit exposed. You know, if I get queen d5, queen e6 can be a slight problem, but uh, I, I do think uh, Nepo has things under control. Probably he can just go queen. Okay, queen b7 is nice, so He's asking uh, what what is actually what is white doing? Is he gonna play king g1? Mm, I know this is sounds strange. Maybe there is no threat. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, but perhaps now it's just a draw after knight g5. So knight g5, h4, knight f3, queen f3, queen f3, king f3 takes takes takes, and we probably will see a draw. I think this, uh, uh, how dangerous is this position for Magnus? I don't think it's, uh, it's that dangerous. Uh, can you go back to this pawn end game? Yeah. Okay. Do you find, did you find no, some no, way? No, 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 no. This was just hallucination. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's okay. No, G4, uh, I, 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 I will not take. I guess yeah, so you yeah, want yeah, to take yeah. king e4, but I will just play king g6 because if I take, you will of course go king e4. Yeah, king. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So That's I will just show uh, you know sometimes it can happen that uh, you you think you are winning and you take it. Now you have to really calculate what is happening after this because something like this, this, uh, who no, that's not the right square. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad square no maybe it's okay maybe it's okay yeah, yeah it's okay black has to go so through. you know you you have to calculate all of these uh, things and uh, okay actually let me yeah. show this line it's it's just for fun uh, purpose this is not going to happen uh, i just like uh, to show this line let me put uh, put it on the board so it's a draw after all it's a draw but anyway, this is too much of but, fantasy. But yeah, you just have to calculate it when yeah. going first. So the, 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 yeah, this is a pure calculation because pawn and games are really, really... Uh, how dangerous is this position for Magnus? Yeah, uh, just Dojo Live asks. Uh, I I don't think uh, it's... it's. Uh, but uh, hold on a minute. What king is 7, after... knight b6, right? He wants to go. Uh, what happens to king... Ah, yeah, here knight uh, b6 also. Yeah, that's what I said, that maybe black has no threat. Yeah, because it looks uh, strange, but okay. It yeah, he needs this knight. Uh, knight. Yeah, he's gonna place the knight on uh, d5. That's why he gave knight f6 check. F3. No, I think uh, uh, slowly Magnus will White take over. Better. White yeah, better. if 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 White uh, because knight uh, is not on e4, and if uh, Magnus doesn't do something quick. He's gonna, uh, I mean, uh, if Nepo doesn't do something quick, uh, maybe Magnus will take over, who knows. Now queen e5, just queen e5, it's good. Because, I, I want, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes uh, when you, I mean, when you manage to capture this pawn on a6, you always have to watch out for some kind of uh, perpetual, right? So this is, uh, this is the problem for uh, white here. Uh, people are challenging me on chat. Uh, there's but, a name that should be easy for you to say, but... Ah, there is one. Uh, Terumal okay. Tecumpar... Uh, ah, almost. Terumal Tecumpar... Terumal Tecumparambat. Yes. Uh, 
Yes. Uh, I think uh, it's I, yeah, you you I did good. You did good. You did good. You did good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they... I wanted to ask you about one thing. It's that if in many countries there are many different schools of chess, and I a few years ago I realized that the Indian school of chess is basically whenever I see that there are some promising players, they always play active chess, like go for murder your opponents. Where did it come from? Did it come from that that, that was the style of Anand or? Uh, basically, uh, there was uh, the the reason why it's like this is because there was no system in the sense uh, like um, uh, if you see Soviet school, you have a system. You, you know, the, like you need to place your pieces on a certain squares. You need to take control of uh, you know uh, bishops are better in this. Some strategy is always there. Uh, however. Asians, I would say not just Indians, but Asians had to, uh, due to the drawbacks of not having this education, they had to compensate. And uh, that is when the tactics uh, help, help them a lot. So all this, uh, uh, all this, uh, well, so uh, minuses which they have, you know, which uh, they cannot, uh, they need to somehow compensate it. And uh, that is when the tactics help them a lot. So that is why you might feel that they are going for all out, you know, so, uh, <laughs> they just want to kill you. But the fact is, uh, we uh, now it's much better. I think it's slightly different uh, story uh, right now. But before many uh, Indian chess players uh, did not know basic uh, chess and games. But OK, no one will trust, but that is a fact. Okay. <laughs> so it, it it's more like a um, necessity. Uh, so thank you for, uh, for all those of you who are joining us and uh, you know I, I uh, yeah he's uh, he's uh, from Tamil Nadu so uh, even for him it's quite uh, difficult to pronounce that word which you uh, Oh, the Polish names can also be nice. Yeah, okay, tell us. Uh, no, no, I have no, nothing uh, like concrete prepared, but yeah, I know that people struggle with Polish names a lot. Yeah, I just dojo uh, means this uh, queen need to check. So if this this is the draw, so that's why we have uh, on the board queen f six. Yes, uh, what happens after queen? Yeah, D6? this is what I'm also wondering. H five is a threat, right? Maybe yeah. okay then king g7 but a uh, queen c5 is the biggest one. No, there are so many threats here. Yeah, king f7. I can I take it? Like that will be my first question. Or let's take h takes g. Okay, th this is always a tricky part. This is always aha. Uh -huh, we have something. Jegosh Shishkishvish. This is Polish. Yes, Grzegorz, I know. Grzegorz Brzęczyszczykiewicz. Yeah, good luck uh, trying that. Basically, in Polish, uh, you always... Uh... <laughs> right? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> no, Bohu is easy. Bohu is, uh, is easy. But uh, the thing is... Um... Uh, all the, I mean, most of your le letters uh, have z z uh, Z uh, in like, uh, when you say ch like this, you have Z, C and yes. Z, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I understand the logic of it, but I don't understand how to do it, how to pronounce it. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, this is a challenge for many people, like because this is not repeated in any other language. This yeah. is not not something similar to to anything else. Yeah, but okay, I can say good good uh, uh, good day. Probably I can say. Yeah. Zindobri. Yeah. You Very see, nice. yeah, let's yeah. let's stick to this. I mean, why yeah. do you want to? No, this is uh, this is lost. This is queen uh, the queen c seven. Yeah, I, right? I I don't know how it's going. Yeah, queen a seven exactly. King g six, uh, queen a six, and uh, this pawn is very nice. And actually, the fact that these pawns exist, you uh, I mean, king will hide behind this pawn, so it's easier uh, with these pawns. There's this rule that one fast pawn is faster than two, right? <laughs> yes, mostly yes. <laughs> so king g3, king f5, oh, king f6, yeah, exactly. And uh, you can't stop this now. 
I mean, queen. even if somehow this position is holdable again according to the engine no this is extremely human. difficult also uh, guys one of the things uh, for a computer uh, it is uh, incorporated with uh, the stable base so uh, it can see uh, draws with queen pawn versus queen but in uh, in a you know he has like one minute and uh, it's it's super difficult to defend such positions yeah, and here yeah. taking taking for example loses because after g4 I just promote first. No, no, taking on the ah, yeah, 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 taking on e5 loses because after g4 we just promote. I can even pro promote a rook. Oh, maybe this. Okay, this also wins. Yeah, yeah, because the point is. But the... even if not for this. Yeah, yeah, even also. Okay, I I, I understand. I I will show what uh, Kamil wanted to say. Okay, sure. I Definitely. mean, even if not for this, I can promote yeah. to a rook even if I'm nasty. So this check and this is a common thing in many studies which you will find. So uh, do watch out for such tricks. Yeah. <laughs> what is expletives? Mm, expletives? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So probably the, those tough words, I guess. Ah, tough from words the con from the context. Yeah, I think. Okay, now we have this position. And uh, I think this is lost. Uh, yeah. So f1 and somewhere queen f4 check should come. Mm -hmm. Is it coming or not? Uh, it's, ah, tricky, it, it, right? it's not over because uh, uh, it's not yet over. Yeah, for example, king g2 is lost because queen g2 and if king h2, queen f4 and uh, or, king or h1. Queen or just queen e2 actually. Ah, yeah, of course, yes. Uh, but king g3. And now, how do I get this? I need to get this. Ah, no, swear words. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe queen g6 we start and then we're... Queen g6, okay. So... I just want to see what you play because if you play king h3, I want to go queen d3. I'm not sure how ah, you, it is. You wanna get one check? Uh, uh... Yeah, I want to threaten some stuff now. Maybe at a6, let's say. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Exactly. That's a good good idea. So uh, always. This in... is on the board, right? Yeah, this is on the board. Nice, nice, Kamil. I'm maybe a, it's it's not sure that you can only calculate. No, basically, when I played just like 10 years ago, I thought that I'm a good attacker, good calculator. Then I realized, okay, how many games in my life have I won by attacking it? By attacking it, it was like not many. How many, how, how many games I lost because the attack wasn't successful? There was a yeah. bigger list. And I realized maybe I'm not so, such a dynamic player as I yeah. thought. Uh, also, and... this is quite interesting. Yeah, just to, uh, sorry to interrupt, but this yeah. looks interesting. Uh, but he went queen of fate. Uh, yeah, that is one thing which always puzzled, uh, like it's like a puzzle, you know, people all uh, thought they are like uh, attacking players, you know, they cannot play positional and stuff like that. And then when they change their style, they play much better. Like mm -hmm. did it, did any, <laughs> did something like that happen to ex you? Like ex yeah, Exactly, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, okay. I I realized that I'm more, I'm a dynamic player, but I'm positionally dynamic. More yeah, better. yeah. So this is important to understand, you know, if you get this, this particular thing wrong, you can be wasting your time and trying to, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I mean, this is, this is quite hard for, uh, black to defend. Okay. Uh, from some, uh, theoretical point of view, I will ex try to explain the king is in the right, uh, right square. Uh, it should be always like a diagonal, uh, thing, uh, if that makes any sense. Um, so, I mean, somewhere like king h3, king g3 and, uh, king g4, king h4 or king g2, king h2. These are the squares, which is good for the, uh, the, the king which has just queen and uh, well mostly uh, the white king has to uh, okay this is really nice now yeah the, the maneuvers in the sand games are very counterintuitive yeah. to, to, to counterintuitive it's like black has to keep the king as far as possible from the pawn yeah. while white's winning procedure is often to just go get the king back and say like you know block with the queen yeah i i somehow think uh, magnus missed something he here i uh, no, not here i mean uh I, how do how do i want these checks i need checks i need to get queen e3 and then push uh, a7 somehow 
can I get that? 25, yeah. So white has to control all these checks, right? So it's not easy. Unless there is a smart way of getting a7 with tempo. Yeah, okay. Of course, if you get a7 with the tempo, yeah, brilliant. But uh, uh, how do you do that? But the queen on f7 is so annoying. Yeah. And uh, something like queen e3, king e1 would be nice. But did we get, did we have a chance of... Queen e3, uh... queen a2, right? No, no, I mean uh, oh, yeah. uh, some check and uh, when black moves, I can have king e1. No, we don't have that. King h2. So this is, uh, we already, we started from this position. So, which means uh, it's twice repeated here. Okay, Why don't so we do how, this? How do Why don't this? we do this? Queen c2. Yeah, so, so we, but then King G3, maybe. Yeah, then at least I start some checks. King G2. Why am I suddenly on the defending side here? No, you are not. Of course, we are just analyzing. Of course, uh, you don't have to. Why do I have to defend Black's position? <laughs> I, it's like okay. a nightmare. So King E3 has been played here. Uh, so it's... Uh... What happens to yeah queen a seven king f three queen a queen a six yeah and uh, this is a uh, checkmate I will not do it but uh, yeah that's why it's not queen a seven is not a good move so queen b three of course uh, is the move are we gonna see king f two here oh queen d three just queen d three mm -hmm. and okay maybe even now I can get my king closer. Yeah, it's it's not at all uh, clear. We'll see. Um, well, uh, ideally, it's probably. I mean, it's maybe just a draw, but uh, theoretical thing and the practicality is slightly different. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, of course, uh, if if I have uh, engine, I can tell you exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah, but that's I mean, that's that, that this really what is the objective evaluation is not so important, I guess. Okay, yeah. it is important, but but uh, while you are playing, it's not important because you yeah, have to yeah, find yeah. the moves. So it's that it's like more what is more important is you should evaluate what's the chance of winning and drawing this. And yeah. I would say that here the chance of winning is much higher than drawing. Yes, yes, yes. In this particular situation. Yeah, unless he blunders this a6 pawn, um, yeah, it's it's really good good chance. Uh, queen f5, okay. Don't see queen f3, just queen c5, right? Yeah. Queen h4, at what time? I mean, at what point? Ah, queen h4, we already had, I think, uh, queen h4, king g2, and this is how we reach this position, some queen g5 check, and so on. So we reach this position. Wow. Uh, I would like to check when was the last pawn move. So a6 is uh, 73rd, uh, 73, move number 73. And uh, now uh, how many moves? So 15 moves have been played. And uh, if Magnus doesn't push this pawn for another 35 moves, which, uh, okay, it's it takes some time, but uh, it, it can happen. Uh, capturing the queen will also work. <laughs> yes. So still, I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay, they will play forever. Maybe I can ask you a question. How did you start playing for the Polonia Wrocław in Poland? Because uh, okay, Harry is playing. Is the leader now for the extra <laughs> uh, team in Pol in Poland? How did it happen? Uh, well, uh, basically, Matthias uh, plays for uh, plays in the same team as uh, I do in uh, Czech extra league. We play for the Novi Bor team and uh, he was uh, mentioning uh, if I mean they changed the the system of Polish extra league has been changed which uh, um, which gives the chance for uh, teams to employ stronger players as uh, all the all the rounds are at once and uh, of course uh, I mean when it was three four three I believe that was the previous uh, system. Three, 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 three 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 okay so th uh, that time uh, I was not really uh, very interested because uh, the, first of all it's uh, much more expensive for the clubs uh, to get the stronger players and uh, yeah then uh, Matos asked if I will be interested to play for um, 
Wroclaw club. I tend to forget my club's name quite often, but uh, um, so then I agreed to play. And uh, uh, my first question was, what's our aim? You know, to to uh, to finish uh, in top three or to win and so on. So he said, of course, to uh, win the championship. And uh, I'm glad we uh, won. Uh, I mean, we were pretty. Uh, like we fought uh, uh, in 2019 as well, uh, but 2020 uh, we won the uh, championship, and uh, it was a really nice moment. Uh, as uh, we, I think we played uh, well uh, as a team. Uh, what is this? If um, I take just, on a six, you don't have a way to continue. Yeah, so it's it's gonna be draw, guys. What? What? Uh, this is like more what? Okay. Yeah, some some banter, I guess. I don't know. I mean, you can just take. Uh, so anyway, that's that's how uh, I joined uh, Rotslot team, and uh, I had uh, nice uh, nice results in both. Uh, I mean, second time uh, th this 2020 was not so great, but uh, still uh, it was okay. And uh, yeah, winning the championship uh, the, with uh, you know uh, strong team like Katowice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, superstars, <laughs> so uh, it 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 feels uh, good. It feels good. Do you know what's funny? Basically, that now in Warsaw there is no strong chess club at the moment. In Warsaw, we don't have a strong chess strong chess club in war in Warsaw. In the first two Polish leagues, there is no team from Warsaw. Uh yeah, that's that's really surprising. But also equally surprising is that game is over. Like <laughs> how did the game? How did the game? Guys, when did the game start, and when did it finish? It's isn't it supposed to start now? Uh, probably they. What? Maybe they they just don't have to wait for each other. No, no, it's at six. Uh, it's uh, five, six, seven, uh, and eight. Um. Yeah. There. There what is. Uh, uh, it's six oh one, which means that they should be starting now. But it finished, so I'm I I am puzzled. I don't know. Uh, yeah, queen and pawn end games of uh, there there is a theory, but it's so difficult to remember because the um, uh, the patterns are quite uh, tough, and uh, it's always you need to calculate. It really it deserves a good amount of calculation. Uh, so anyway, let me go uh, to this game. It's all uh, known theory. It's nothing special. My ever. favorite opening. Ah, uh, yeah. Go ahead. This is this is equal. No, I was. I, I told you I don't understand the group. Ah, yeah. <laughs> no, this is uh, this is known stuff. There is nothing. Uh, I mean, you can try a bit, but nothing really happens. And uh, I believe Wesley was uh, satisfied with the draw. Yeah, this is pretty much forcing there is nothing you cannot oh, yeah okay yeah you cannot he's, stop. he's leading in the match so yeah so he's leading uh, by uh, i mean one and a half half a point uh, so he needs uh, two draws uh, let's see what how uh, how it will turn out and uh, so guys we just have one game now <laughs> and they they have to wait a bit because they just finished uh, yeah. so if uh, if uh, if you guys have some questions, uh, just let us know, and uh, we are here to answer. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, we uh, before going uh, for a short break, uh, we want to uh, ask you. Uh, we want to give you a puzzle, not to Kamil, but uh, to the viewers. And uh, please, uh, you know, every every day we are getting some uh, puzzles or studies or mating tools uh, which you can uh, solve while we are on break. So that way we keep uh, we keep the momentum going. Um, chess openings, chess tactics, uh, positional play in chess. I think uh, it's a very complicated question. Uh, Depends on the level, right? Yes, absolutely. Because uh, depends on the level, depends on your player. Like you will understand that uh, um, a certain player you feel good and then you you should go for it. Like maybe uh, it doesn't work, but you should still go for it. Chess is not 
just about science you know there are feelings there are a lot of emotions involved when you are playing a player so um, it's it, there is a lot of psychology uh, involved in chess it's uh, not just the openings and uh, middle games and end games did I check Harry's course on the Taimanov? <laughs> and Harry, did you check Harry's courses on the Four Nice and Anti Sicilians? So, also, <laughs> yes, I checked Harry's course on the yeah. Taimanov. I even, I even wanted to learn the Taimanov. Okay. I thought that this is like the, one of the openings for me because this is very positionally dynamic. Yes. But then I realized uh, that. I don't like playing openings when I could get mated. And <laughs> I abandoned, I, you know, the only Sicilian that I play at the moment is the knight f6, knight c6. Like e6 on move number two, then knight f6, knight c6. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. is basically what I play at the time. I know that there are some lines that are slightly unpleasant for black, but still, I like mm. to play it from time to time. This yeah. is like one of my main responses versus e4 at the moment. Uh, and uh, once again, thank you for those of you who are joining uh, uh, and following the channel. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take a quick break, uh, Kamil, and yeah. uh, uh, we'll be back soon. But uh, do solve the puzzle and uh, let us know the solution. Uh, welcome back. And uh, I, I see uh, that we have a solution in the chat. Uh, so it is uh, Queen E8. Uh, we would like to give knight f7 check, but uh, queen is uh, occupying that square. So queen takes e8, rook takes e8, uh, knight f7 check, and uh, knight h6 check. And not only that, after knight f7, king moves to g8, knight h6 check, g takes h6, and bishop h3. So uh, white is uh, full rook uh, up, and uh, that's the solution. So uh, congratulations to uh, those of you who solved it. And uh, we are waiting for the game. Uh, I think it will. Uh, what, what, what do you think? Uh, your prediction. I mean, what is your prediction? Prediction for uh, the, uh, Jan versus Magnus game. Do you think uh, Jan will uh, win, or Magnus will take uh, him into some end game and slowly start pushing? Okay, I will say that Jan will win. Yeah. Okay. Because if I'm right, I'm a genius, right? <laughs> yes, that, that that's how uh, it works uh, uh, today's world. And if I'm wrong, then nothing happens. Because... If you are wrong, nobody remembers you. But if yeah. you are right, you are a genius. That's yeah. uh, that's the that's the way it works. So it's better to take a side. Yeah. Uh, and uh, hope that you will be right. Yeah. Ah, that's a good suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I am curious to see the opening indeed. Uh, I mean, Jan can play some, uh, I don't know, some strange stuff, or maybe he can just play absolute main line and come up with some interesting idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Who knows? That's, that's usually thanks to the modern engines, right? That yeah. You pick some line that is suitable for one, two games, not more, and the goal is only to surprise your opponent. Mm -hmm. The engine gives zero, 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 but you just don't care because your opponent has to find like three accurate moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have uh, Magnus Carlsen uh, camera there. And uh, today we don't have the his traditional noodles. I don't know if you have seen him eating <laughs> i did uh, i did see that no 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 okay uh, i basically i didn't pay too much attention to the uh, live uh, live watching this because of the work i have to do okay okay because you know when i worked on my course from january to let's say march it's yeah. always possible to do something i have the second monitor i just watch some stuff uh -huh, right, well, right. you know the engine is analyzing and i'm doing doing uh -huh. something else but when i'm recording it's harder for yeah me. of course you cannot turn your head like this and uh, check <laughs> you have to yeah thank you uh Engval stream uh yes i i started uh commenting re uh, recently like maybe five days or uh yeah five days uh we started with um we started with hand and brain uh with, with david navara you should definitely check out that video uh, really fun moments. We had uh, nice, nice fun. Uh, so, fan from Sweden, uh, thank you very much. And um, uh, what did uh, Magnus do wrong in the end game? 
uh so okay let's uh check that as uh, they are still uh, uh you know going uh, taking some break um so in the end in the end game i think uh okay probably we really need to go back a little yeah, bit yeah, yeah so i think uh until here this is okay so we reach this position um definitely uh white must uh, give this check I, I i think uh as he can take this pawn and then you have another pass pawn so king g6 queen a6 king h5 now i think uh it, this is the time uh which you should not care about uh, you know centralizing the queen which usually is the principle you know in queen and games uh when you have the queen on d4 e4 d5 e5 uh, it kind of controls uh, much more squares and uh, that's considered very uh, useful. Um, I, I would seriously consider a move like uh, d6 here. Um, not sure if it if it's really good, but uh, it, it definitely seems like, uh, you know, you, you can just go king e6, uh, something like queen e3 check, uh, king f7, I believe. Uh, queen b3 and uh, you know somehow to get king e7 maybe you can even hide the king on h7 if you want but i'm not sure if you want to hide the king <laughs> yeah i just want to uh, I, I thought i can just stay uh, on d8 and uh, get uh, uh, like let's uh, for example to get d7 um so this this is one option of course i don't say that Oh, we have the game, uh, we have uh, the game, but here I think it's already so difficult, you know, all these checks, then you are playing under 30 seconds. No Berlin. Uh, what? No Berlin. Oh, we have a lot of, a uh, uh, lot of viewers from uh, Sweden. Uh, are you from Malmo or uh, uh, some other town? Because I played uh, I played a tournament in Malmo uh, in the year 2019. Um, ah, Rilton Cup. Okay, yes, I, I know. Uh, ah, he's from Malmo. But I, I did play in the Malmo event in 2019 and I finished second place. Uh, so here after D takes E5, Bishop E6. Uh, you have knight bd2, uh, queen e2, uh, c3 uh, ideas. What did he play? c3, yeah, c3, bishop e7, uh, knight bd2, knight c5, bishop c2, and d4. It kind of transposed. I mean, white could have started with uh, knight bd2 instead of c3. Yeah, now it will be, oh, d takes c3. Wow. But this is for sure preparation. Yeah. Knight takes c5. I thought he would go for d3, which is, uh, uh, you know, forcing variation. I will just briefly show it show it here. But it's have... objectively fine for black, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so this this you this is the main uh, stuff here. I had uh, two games, if uh, if I'm not mistaken, one against Fabiano Caruana in from Baku Olympiad, and one probably. Um, I don't remember actually. So anyway, knight c5, queen d. No, he took b takes c3. Why don't he? Why didn't he take knight c3? Knight c5. I'm really but surprised. But what's the big difference? Uh the thing is, I I just want to play this. I I don't care about this pawn. Uh, I want to uh, you know uh, take on c6. Uh perhaps this is some theory. So I guess uh, we can. I'm just assuming that it is uh, it is theory. So bishop e4, uh, black will go bishop d7. He needs to protect the knight. And uh, here, wow. I wanted to go e6, but it's probably too much. With some knight e5 ideas, but there is knight c3 counter by always. So if e6, f takes e6, you wanted to play knight e5? It might be, I don't know, just, you know, the general idea. But it doesn't <laughs> work, right? Not sure. We need to check because you have knight d7. Ah, but knight e4, knight e4, uh, and uh, if we take bishop c6, bishop c6, knight c6, knight d1, knight e7, do not stop calculation. <laughs> because after king e7, uh, you have bishop a3 or bishop g5, probably bishop, no, bishop g5 I like, uh, because it also doesn't allow, then you have knight c5, 
nice uh, nice uh, you know grip on the board uh yeah we have uh bishop d7 do you think we will get that mm, no idea but maybe i don't oh there is also knight a5 maybe even in some positions like this yeah this knight on a4 is problematic like if not for the knight on a4 why what so if it, right? i take uh, yeah yeah of course yeah of course uh, if knight c3 and then bishop c6 the same idea ah, same idea if same idea just just i don't give up the pawn okay maybe okay. that's even smarter i don't know yes yes okay he, he can no he can't take on uh uh maybe he can knight d5 uh long castle, castle right but then 97 king d7 now i take ah yes i take go bishop g5 probably i don't know how good is this take 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 bishop e3 or rook e1 first yeah this is also no, pretty... now, now, now we'll drop the bishop i mean i wanted oh, to first yeah, play yeah. bishop e3 oh, yeah. and i i just uh, made rook c1 first yeah yeah definitely white plays for do white plays for the results here or is it like sometimes even risky for white no, I think uh, it's not risky uh, for white, but also the winning chances are really low here, I feel. Uh, now focus on chess. <laughs> They're to uh, talking where they are from, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Also, there is some ideas like uh, bishop g5, but maybe it's not so so good because just knight c3. Uh, e6 and knight a5... Uh, looks interesting the, to me there are also knight d4 ideas I, I mean nepo definitely has something to think about this is definitely the critical position yeah and that's why he stopped i think rightly rightly he stopped rightly he stopped but what what do you do here okay magnus is blitzing out his moves then you can assume that all of those tries objectively don't give you any mm -hmm. Uh, but the the point is that even if uh, those tries uh, give you something or not, if you don't play those, you might end up worse in yeah. any case. So it doesn't really matter uh, that much because what to do here? Yeah. And what about a move like... Uh, 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 no, this doesn't work. That's basically the same thing I wanted to ask. Uh, it, it doesn't work because he he uh, black is gonna take on c3 and rook d1 is not possible mm -hmm. anymore. Like let's say you go bishop to somewhere. Actually, bishop g5. No, no, not somewhere. This this is uh, this maybe has some. No, not really. Okay, it's a mistake because rook d1, king e7. I mean, I don't want to give this square for the king because any of these squares uh, are good for white because after bishop c6, you don't have rook a d8. And that's uh, kind of a problem here. Uh, Jan Owe Waldner in how popular is Jan Owe Waldner? Uh, I'm probably going to make a fool of myself, but isn't he a biathlonist? Like, just laugh at me if I'm wrong, but no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not watching sports. Ah, uh, okay. Usually, but I heard this name and I'm pretty sure he's some kind of a winter sport. He's a what? ping pong player. No, no, I have to Google it. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have Google, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay, okay. So, can you basically get more wrong that calling ping pong player a <laughs> biathlon? It's like <laughs> it, it, it's it's like you know calling a chess player a, ho a ice hockey player, right? Yes, something yes. similar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, do you play ping pong? I I do play ping pong, and I really like the game. I played it when I was younger because this was like one of the main sports that was that is usually going uh, on at school mm -hmm. in Poland. And yeah, I played. Basically, there there was this boom in Poland like ten years ago that there were tournaments that combined chess and ping pong. And <laughs> as as strange as it's uh, as it you know sounds. Uh, it was very interesting because the idea was that you play two sets of ping pong to to eleven. Uh -huh. And then you play a game of chess. So basically, when you lose lose at ping pong, it's like one point to your opponent. When it's a draw, it's a draw, and you could win like two zero, one and half half, one one. Uh, you know, 
it was there was a big school with like nine table tennis uh tables the, yeah the, like tables for ping pong and there were like 50 people playing i even once won that tournament but just you know chess players have no competition Other things like, to do, there, yeah. there are there are there is no competition right. uh, to, to to the ping pong players because some ping pong players who are for like 2000 can beat you but you will yeah. never beat them in, in in table tennis right and uh, we have a draw by the time uh, you uh, <laughs> you tell you you were saying something they just finished uh, uh, basically uh, magnus took okay. uh, rook takes d7 king takes d7 bishop f5 king e8 bishop e4 uh, of course black cannot move the knight so there is nothing else apart from king d7 and uh, that's it we don't have uh, anything else uh, for, i mean uh, i am a little bit maybe nepo just took a practical decision yeah. here but definitely uh, this move is worth considering f takes e6 knight takes e5 uh, also here uh, yeah knight e5 and if knight takes e5 you just take bishop uh, a8 okay it's this is also not over because i can capture oh uh, actually uh, it's it's not so uh, uh, it's not so great as i initially thought maybe because of bishop b2 knight d1 bishop e5 and maybe this knight is uh, kind this of stuck this is nice stuff uh, but uh, then I, Im I immediately start to look for something more and then Castling, I thought it's possible Bishop. but <laughs> white has bishop f3 of yeah. course this is Very still nice. still not over because black does have three pawns here i mean probably he will go c5 but i mean white white has nothing to fear uh, as he his uh, you know peace will control the pawns and uh, if we go back a little bit here uh, also the, the, uh, there was uh, the suggestion of knight takes e3 right and uh, bishop takes e6 bishop takes e6 knight c6 uh, is it possible that maybe bishop Ah no, but rook is uh, rook is protected, so it doesn't really matter. So knight d one, knight takes e seven. The knight on e seven is doing a great Ma job of stopping black from casting. Yeah, so. maybe knight f two. Maybe knight f two. This is something which uh, uh, which might have bothered Nepo because uh, uh, it's three pawns. It's uh, that's a that's a lot. I mean, even if uh, white manages to capture this and uh, black is gonna just push the pawn so maybe this is the reason why uh, somebody is from japan yep oh my god please shout out uh, <laughs> to, to the guy who is from japan you know it's 225 <laughs> thank you for watching gonda <laughs> yeah so mm, yeah the, the, yeah probably he understood that magnus was well prepared and uh, he didn't want to uh, you know take any chances and uh, i i would say it's a good practical decision um uh, what to say yeah i mean if you if your opponent is well prepared and uh, uh, i think sometimes you should take a practical decision like this uh, basically just for your information the other game is started oh what yeah so so, so they are not they, skipping the schedule uh, they are not keeping the schedule okay because they finished at six mm -hmm. so they have to wait for one hour okay so we are uh actually uh alex will be joining uh pretty soon uh so we will see if uh, by the time he joins if they will have any games remaining okay so anyway we have something similar uh to the first game and uh, bishop g5 so anish likes to provoke this uh, f6 move and uh, then he just moves the bishop to h4 and g3 i think it's a nice idea bishop to g4 this is one of those positions that i hate playing with both colors it's like with white i always feel my center is going to collapse while with black it's just okay i'm going to lose the pawn end game yeah uh, so bishop g4 uh, h3 Bishop h5, queen d3, queen d7, g4. So 
g4 is nice it's stopping f5 i think this f5 idea of you know asking questions on whether this pawn is i mean white is gonna play e5 or he takes f5 can be quite uh, useful so g4 bishop g6 knight e3 knight e3 is uh with the idea of knight f5 of course but knight d5 wow knight d5 is nice so i don't see uh what what else to do here apart from knight f5 and then knight f4 queen f1 black is black better here not sure because just i go bishop g3 and i'm also threatening something like e5 i am not sure black is better i would take white uh, of course, you have uh, a fantastic knight on uh, f4. Uh, and, uh, this is not really such a big threat. I can maybe play rook e3 or something. <laughs> a bishop before queen c4, right? Yeah, yeah. Bishop before queen c4 uh, is nice, yeah. There's a question on chat. Yeah, that's why I was laughing. Can we, can we tell the Vienna concert to stop playing Blitz? No. <laughs> no, because like it's strange for me, but playing Blitz and analyzing openings is basically all, everything I have ever done in chess. I, I, I also read a lot of books because I like doing this, but I never yeah. seriously studied them. Mm -hmm. I never did puzzles because I hate them. And basically, I love playing Blitz, and this is what I do, and this is somehow how I improved. And for me, I, it just worked. I'm lucky, I, I guess. I, I think uh, I also addressed this uh, point that uh, in chess, you need to uh, learn in a balanced way. Like, uh, if you play, like, um, if, if you do just one particular thing, uh, somehow you tend to miss uh, the other part. Like, if you just study end games, then of course, uh, you also have to reach <laughs> to to end games. So, therefore, you can you you definitely should play blitz games or rapid games, but uh, also you need to analyze uh, the games which you played because without that, you are not learning anything, you are just uh, going one game after uh, the other. Yeah, it's, it's well, I have this habit that when, for example, when I play a Blitz game and somebody like surprises me in the opening, I always check this. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the point of uh, G6 in case uh, White plays uh, E5, uh, because to me that looks uh, quite, I mean, White should address uh, uh, this issue of E, I mean, Black should address the issue of uh, E5. So yeah, Bishop G3. And after g takes f5, he's going to play e5 and uh, knight is uh, hanging on f4. So knight h5. Yeah, Wesley is playing fast. But what happens to e5? Oh, e5, knight takes g... No, not sure. Actually, f takes e5. d takes e5, knight g3, f takes g3 and queen f7. t takes e7. Queen f3, queen takes f3, rook f3, and finally you have, you are okay. And black is better, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, he, uh, yeah, he's a pawn up. Uh, I don't know how objectively how it's winning. I'm sure he's calculating all these ideas because what else? I mean, after bishop d6, I take c takes d6. And if you take f something like f takes g6, h takes g6, I don't think uh, white is doing that well because of uh, this f4. Yeah, and king g7, rook h8. Yeah, maybe, uh, not sure, maybe queen g2 here. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, I maybe mean... we start with king g7. Yeah, king, king g7, yes, 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 definitely. Because I, I want to go knight f4 and rook h8. Ah, so what Kamil wants to do is uh, he wants to checkmate. Uh, so this is his idea after oh, yes. queen f4, queen h3 and so on. So he Kamil wants to mate at all times, especially when he's not playing. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the best thing about commentating. You can sacrifice somebody else's pieces. That's the best thing in chess. <laughs> Hi, Rushil Chess. Oh, oh, oh he, uh, you know what is OP? OP? Yeah. A internet language it's means... uh, overpower yeah 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 but he him he put op for himself so it's <laughs> really funny uh, op is like the uh, somebody that you're talking about i guess 
yeah 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 um, it's like when we speak about magnus we can say that no, you can you you can always uh, you can always write like if you like someone or somebody you like you can just write uh, his name and op original poster no 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 overpowered this is a new meaning <laughs> so <laughs> okay uh so uh vienna concert uh, must be master okay so they are chatting there do you play online blitz uh not so much actually i sometimes uh, my online blitz mostly is like banter blitz and oh. you know <laughs> hand and brain and stuff like that uh, but not uh, not so much not so much uh, especially uh, when when you start playing uh, online blitz and then you play like hours and uh, after that you are like exhausted you know that is a feeling which i really dislike and uh, that's what that's the reason why uh, i don't get into this uh, bullets and blitz and play for three four hours uh, instead i prefer to you know you, you set up a time like you know with panther blitz or uh, hand and brain you just finish in 90 minutes and also you are interacting you know it's more uh, fun and interactive uh, way um but no i used to play a lot actually yeah kamil did play in the halloween tournament uh, yes, yes, yes. and uh, he, uh, but it was the the the, uh, the the mask was small or something right or it was too big Something. No, no, it was fine. The, the was pigman. Fine. The pig. Ah, pigman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Camille is actually the pigman. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correspondence games. Uh, uh, you can check uh, in their uh, website. I think it's iccf. dot uh, I, I am not sure. Um, yeah, I played the Halloween tournaments. Uh, the first match I played against Peter Hein and Niels, and the second one against the other Peter, who then won the yeah. tournament. Yeah, but you fought well. I I thought you fought well, but some some uh, some important moments. I think uh, you uh, you were thinking or something like that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I I okay. Let's not analyze the Blitz games, but yeah, I yeah. had my chances. Yeah. I used them, not to the maximum, but still, I'm happy um yeah i think uh one okay uh gin i uh, i was on uh gm uh ginger gm i mean i, I should not be calling him ginger gm but okay simon Why? uh okay he's simon eh? because when i uh, when i uh, when he invited me on the show and then i am like uh ginger gm ginger gm was ringing in my but what is his name what is his name <laughs> i mean i cannot say thank you ginger gm on his show yes i should uh, i should be saying uh, simon yeah uh, so yeah the, uh, he also doesn't use uh, engine or uh, he doesn't have uh, evaluation bar uh, so i think uh, if all of you are fine and uh, you know enjoying it uh, so i'm uh, i mean for me, it's it's uh, not a problem to have uh, UL bar and engine, but uh, it's it's not necessary. I can also think. <laughs> yeah, you know, we don't take this human part from the games. Yeah, and no, it's of better course. To analyze w without the engine, I guess. Definitely, uh, engine is much stronger. It's not even a question that I'm uh, trying to you know downplay the engine or something. But uh, here we are trying to have a nice conversation, enjoy uh, the stream, and uh, I'm I want to have guests and uh, you know talk about some fun stuff. Um, when will you be allowed to have subs on Twitch? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know actually. Uh, I just started, and uh, we will see. I I see uh, many of you are coming every day. That's uh, that's good. Good to see the guys who are uh, you know chatting because some of them I can recognize, and uh, I feel uh, it, this way it's good. I like uh, um, I like what uh, both are doing. I I cannot say somebody is better. But the problem is the moment you play e5, this d5 square is uh, seriously weak, and uh, the pawn is not really going anywhere. So yeah, he's just he's just waiting. I think uh, both are waiting. Uh, we I uh, know e5 uh, is taking away the square of uh, uh, bishop b4. Yeah, that's a nice move. So can we see rook? 
no. Yeah, now he... black has to find a move. Yeah, black has to find a move. Okay, Maybe let's say... bishop to f4. Oh yeah, Th this I like immediately. Because then uh, you don't care about the c5, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Dr. Swishansuk. Uh, he is uh, joined from the uh, very beginning. Uh, next big tournament uh, will be online. That's European Chess uh, uh, Club Cup, which is, uh, I believe, from 27th March. So they're asking your recent chessable courses. Uh, no, actually, sorry. Not mine, no. I think. Yeah, so yeah, not which your. Courses which course? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I did. I... What if I should answer that? Because then I will just give the secret what I'm studying at the moment. <laughs> uh, but you are on my studio, so you should definitely say my course. <laughs> yes, yes. Harry <laughs> Okay, Star I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, let me just quickly uh, make make sure I remember what what <laughs> is there the, the last you know courses but I I strongly recommend Erwin Lamy's Cozio defense it's very nice yeah I I I, I really like the uh, Erwin's uh, Karokan um, yeah I, I really liked it and this Cozio defense also Erwin uh, did yeah I haven't job. I haven't uh, I haven't studied yet but uh, for sure I will yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this that is the one that I would definitely recommend if you are asking about the openings. Yeah. So we have uh, Anish Kiri and So Wesley on camera. Magnus also is playing. No. Yeah, yeah. They started. Um, the same opening, but yes, the different line. Yes, yes. The the uh, variation which I said is the absolute main line. They are playing it. Do you um, know that this Vienna opening is like one of the highest scoring openings for Black after D4? It's like scoring better for Black than White. For Black. Yes. Wow, it I didn't over, know that. Over fifty percent in the standard. Oh, that's matrix. that's very good. Actually, uh, uh, should we wait here because uh, I think they will take some time unless we are missing. If we, if we miss something here, do let us know in the chat, and we'll just quickly go to the other game. So Queen D two is some idea which I was checking after the game uh, between Radek Wojtaszek and uh, Duda in Polish Championship or even there was some games uh, so the idea is to get the queen to f4 g3 and if black castles uh, you have this uh, idea of queen bishop h6 but here after queen d7 uh, jan made his intentions pretty clear <laughs> so uh, i wouldn't be surprised if he is uh, planning on uh, going for a long castle and having some g5 g4 uh, kind of a things I don't know as a, a very attacking player, uh, would you go for such a thing or uh, what do you, I mean, how do you feel here actually? I mean, this is very risky because, you know, there are, you don't, I'm not sure if you want to do something like this in a four game match. Yeah. So, you, you know, it's more important not to lose games than to win games. That's why also we saw a ton of those Berlins. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, I expect something like uh, like this uh, to happen. Maybe he can start with the knight with knight b4, uh, just to uh, even get knight d3, give this pawn, uh, but have this bishop and bring the knight to d5. That's one way of playing it. Um, yeah, we are waiting. Uh, meanwhile, we have some moves uh, in the game between Anish Kiri and Wesley So. There's a question, do we root for someone special in this tournament? Sorry? Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, we had a uh, uh, like, couple of predictions. Jesse took, uh, like my uh, previous guest, took Magnus Carlsen. So you cannot take Magnus Carlsen uh, as the like your pick for winning the championship. Uh, and so Wesley, you cannot pick because I pick uh, him. So you have the option of Jan Nepomniachtchi and Anish Kiri. Oh. <laughs> So you're not making it easier. Oh, that, that wait, 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 wait. I'm going to, I'm going to pick Nepo because then uh, Alex Solovich will be left with Anish. Right? With my, the, your next guess. Uh... <laughs> That's brutal. I think Alex, uh, he's still not here, but I hope he's listening to this uh, brutality which uh, Kamal is doing to you. Uh, I hope we will. Uh, 
uh yeah definitely we will talk about it when so you pick Jan, right yes 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 because just, oh, j- just to give uh, alex anish yeah yes <laughs> yeah probably i have to <laughs> the, tell the background but okay some other time so here uh, i like what uh, white is doing uh, as the night is completely out uh, from the game i mean uh, if the knight can come to d5 uh, Alex Cholovic uh, from uh, Macedonia is joining uh, next. Uh, if the knight is on uh, d5, that would be nice. But anyway, I like White's position here. He can just get the rook here and uh, take the open file. Yeah. So yeah, White wants to, wants to go rook e2. What's Black's plan here? Like. Uh, locate, right? Okay, let me tell the joke for them. So, uh, Alex, uh, GM Alex Cholovic made a uh, knight, of course, uh, how many years back? Like one of the first courses on Chessable or? Yes, I would say so. Yeah. And then uh, Anish made a uh, knight, of course, uh, uh, this this year or? Uh, yeah, this year. Yeah, some, uh, somewhere. Here. No, no, last, uh, last December or this year, I forgot, but... Uh, so that's some kind of discussion which is going on, uh, uh, which was going on uh, for a while on Twitter. You can uh, you can check it out on their respective Twitters. But uh, yeah, that's why uh, Kamal is going for uh, Jan. Let, let's bring their memories back. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> I probably now became an enemy of at least two grandmasters. No, I think you became enemy of just one grandmaster. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, as uh, uh, as we we see that he went for knight b4, a3, knight 4, d5, knight e4, queen c6. I, I was uh, thinking that Nepo would go for long castle because he just wants to, you know, expand these pawns. So bishop f1, f5, he takes f6, g takes f6, and queen e2. Mm. Um, there are no realistic chances of white attacking the black king, right? But... Um, yeah, I mean, he might, uh, he, he, he's uh, trying to get somewhere, but I don't see it. Because if the pawn is on a2, maybe some b3 or something like that. But no, I, I, like, uh, I like what Jan is doing here. Not necessarily uh, good. One, <laughs> not necessarily good what he's doing, but uh, maybe knight g3 uh, and uh, attack the pawn on e6. That could be. Yeah, Anish, Anish and uh, me made French course, uh, but uh, the difference is uh, both of them made the French uh, knight of course from uh, uh, black side, and I made the course from uh, white side in of uh, French and. Uh, uh, Anish made from black, so it's there is a different story. <laughs> so you're also an enemy of Anish Giri? No, I am not. I am friend because uh, the guys who purchase his course, uh, um, uh, I mean, if if somebody wants to encounter Anish course, they will buy my course, and oh, somebody yeah. wants to encounter my course, they will buy Anish course. So we are doing good. So this is just a, a symbiosis. <laughs> no, but I never had any problem <laughs> with this French business. <laughs> Uh, so uh, anyway uh, I, I think uh, this game uh, might end uh, uh, pretty soon as uh, we just have a few moments here I, I think on F6 yeah so uh, I think uh, here Black's King is quite weak and he should be winning this without uh, big issues here so what do we do next? Rook d2 e2, something like this. Uh, I don't know if you like rook f2 or rook d2. Okay, rook d2. Uh, rook because d2. I'm afraid that black will play king g7 and kind of survive. Yeah, yeah. D takes if no, not sure because you know this knight is still bad. So let's say you go e6, uh, queen e7 or something. You can just play, bring the queen somehow. I don't know, queen f2, queen d4 or something like that. But also I was thinking, uh, like, could he play g4? It's a bit radical, but uh, I like to first check the forced variations because maybe uh, we miss something there. So what? Knight, knight d5? d5 he has yeah. to go? Yeah, knight d5 and... 
uh, rook rook d2 rook f2 slot all kinds of threads no he went rook g5 no not this uh yeah rook g5 that's uh that's very interesting yeah definitely what's the idea oh uh, uh, we have uh, sorry like rook f2 is the idea and 95 then uh yes definitely i think that's the idea um okay if if he goes king g king to g7 is he not going king g7 Ooh, white, oh it's white. it's white to play white okay yeah, yeah rook f2 and now yeah. king g7 king g7 95 i guess yeah yeah there are a lot of indians who are watching uh, but it's not that late for them i uh, i remember uh, on day 1 or day 2 some of them were staying until 2:30 <laughs> uh, now i started to think do we want to play knight e5 or maybe knight h4 my knight h4 might be smarter because of knight f5 as an additional option ah of course yes yes maybe yes. this also rook g6 and yeah the that, knight is not going to be hanging yeah that's what happened in fact uh but uh, I can at least see that I can go knight f5, rook takes f5, rook takes f5. Ah, king, no, 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 king h6 is not. Yeah, mm, not sure. But uh, yeah, wait, is it like white to move and white has the option of going knight f5? Yes, yes. Okay. I mean, of course you can uh, you can you have many choices like you can play something simple like rook knight g6, rook g6, rook h5. But uh, I was Then rook g3, right? No, no, check. Oh, check, check, check. Check, check. check, check, right. check. Yeah. But we have this as uh, we we saw a little bit earlier. Well, I think it should be um, pretty close. Uh, you know, somehow, but still there is knight. I mean, there is this trick that white has rook g4 here and rook h5, but black can save with queen d3, right? Yeah. And yeah. suddenly white is begging here. <laughs> yes. Uh, of course, you can uh, come back uh, rook f2, but then there, there is no point in rook g4 uh, here. Uh, hello, the Ben kid ah there is a benko kid probably it's type of opening which you like yeah rook g4 anish is listening to you yes <laughs> and that's something sometimes happening you know you commentate something you say some variations and the player plays it and then you realize it was it's so horrible <laughs> <laughs> he would probably uh, would like to take those moves back. Uh, perhaps after a move like queen d3, he would want to go rook uh, rook f3. So oh, wait. He... he did. He played queen d6. Do I see it? Queen d6. Okay. Yeah, queen d6. And why can't I take queen uh, e7? No. Now queen uh, to d3 because you don't have rook f5 and rook f2. And if you move the rook, then he takes g takes h5. It That's really the point. Works. Yeah, this is a, this is a nice uh, nice move. Queen d6. There's rook g5 in the end, but then rook e2, right? And you don't care. Yeah. And uh, I think king, uh, I don't know, king f7 should be su sufficient, because as long as you are in uh, g file, you can't really bring the rooks uh, behind. Okay, maybe I just stay here just to be safe. No, this is not exactly safe because uh, you will bring the uh, rook to f6 and f2. But yeah, he, he's not going to go for it. No, he's not. Go, go, he's not. Uh, he's not going to play uh, play that. Um, I mean, black wants to get this knight to d5, where it controls and sometimes f uh, e3, uh, knight f6, uh, rook f4. Wait, maybe take the pawn. Uh, there is the guy hanging. Let's take it. Why okay. not? Knight d5 and Let's then be you. Greedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he goes for rook e3. Guys, in the chat, you can, of course, uh, guess the moves. So feel free to make mistakes. And that's how you can improve in chess. If you think that, you know, if you might suggest something wrong, that's not good. You should suggest. Uh, wait, ah, yeah, rook, rook e2 is okay. Uh, 
rook b3 then some queen no rook what's this yeah rook d3 of course yeah he's keeping an eye on this rook d2 move so so it's like you get a position that should be close to winning but you always have those problems against those yeah. top players right yeah. they always find resources yeah this is uh, this is uh, i can add that this is one of the differences uh, between uh, you know when there is 100 points difference like uh, they are not going to resign or uh, just throw away like you know as if this is over so that's why uh, they're always going to put some trap there always there is something it's never uh, finished uh, when did things uh, start going so bad i think uh, uh, probably when he started to play this structure <laughs> because uh, anish played really fine game i think even in the previous game anish was much better and uh, he just blundered uh, um this uh, night eight six yeah the first game which we were uh, seeing obviously um so uh camel uh, uh i don't know if you want to hang out or uh... yeah yeah i gotta be going uh, my yeah. family got back home so yeah yeah so uh i i we will take short break um and uh, we'll be joined by uh gm alex uh Jolovich. i hope i pronounced it correctly <laughs> but uh, yeah don't go back and uh, we will uh, we'll have the uh, yeah we have the position there why to move and win and uh, we'll be back uh, in a while uh, welcome back uh, i see that uh, all of you uh, or most of you solved the puzzle uh, so it is queen h8 uh, king h8 and knight g6 uh, check and there is not much uh, for black to do and knight uh, will capture back the queen and now we have uh, new guests on our studio uh, and uh, he is also uh, a chessable author uh, a national coach of uh, uh, macedonia uh, well, I or... used to be actually. I used, used to, to be. be. Not okay. anymore. Yeah, not okay. Anymore. But more importantly, he, he scored a fantastic result in the 2018 Chess Olympiad or 2016? I, I, I saw. In, in, in Baku, in yeah, Baku. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Baku, yeah. So, uh, so he was a member of uh, Macedonian national team. And uh, how many books did you write or uh, how many books you authored? In, in Chessable, I ate by now. Eight. So, okay, so it's a huge competition. The previous guest <laughs> had seven, but uh, so we have a guest who bettered Camille. So uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for accepting our invitation and uh, joining yeah, thanks us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. And uh, are you, I mean, following the games? I'm sure you, you are yeah, following yeah, the games. And uh, what do you, uh, okay, this is the current position actually. Queen D oh yeah it's a complete mess I mean yeah uh, I think this is okay at the moment it's probably uh, lost because Queen F one is not possible because of this pin yeah um, but Queen F four Rook G three it sh it should be uh, over for uh, Wesley yeah, it looks like it, yeah. so uh, Wesley uh, was leading before this game and uh, after this it will be I mean if I I, I think Anish will win here and uh, after that it will be one point uh, they will have one and a half one and a half yeah uh so what how is it going uh, how is the pandemic did you make more courses during pandemic or <laughs> well, actually, i mean uh last year i did uh wow i don't remember <laughs> 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 you know this pandemic is like one big blur you know yes it's like like you know I'm, uh, most of the time i'm sitting at home i mean even though last year i was actually traveling quite a bit which was okay. surprising mm -hmm. uh, but uh, most of the time ever since i think what was it like I'm not sure already i mean i'm just sitting at home working doing <laughs> a lot of things and uh i don't know i mean i remember i did the chebanenko slav last year yes yes and uh, I also started working on this, the last course, which is the uh, Queen's Gambit Declined. Yeah. And uh, that one got published like uh, just recently in February. Mm -hmm. And now I'm working already on a new one. Wow. So, yeah. So it's a yeah. How do how do you guys uh, publish so many uh, like courses? Like uh, in order to make a course, 
uh, I will briefly explain to the viewers how it goes. Like you send uh, the PGN, like which we call the analysis, and then yeah. there is a beta testing. Yes. And then you record the entire, no, actually you improve upon yes. the uh, questions and then you record the whole thing. Yes. Um, when you first started, like uh, like the, the first course, I mean, I of course, once you uh, make first course, then it's it's like, a, you know, you are already used to. Yeah, it's easy. Uh, I remember Peter uh, Swidler saying, like, I sent my analysis and then, uh, you know, he received like uh, what can be improved. I, I It, it happened uh, the same way for me. Uh -huh. did, did it happen uh, to you as well? Like, you know, you I am a grandmaster. OK, let me send my analysis and this should be sufficient or uh, was it different for you? Actually, actually, I, I mean, it was different for me and I'll tell you why. Okay, I'm with Chessable since the beginning. Actually, I'm the first grandmaster on the, on the platform, okay? Mm -hmm. And what happened is that, okay, my first course was like, uh, it's also connected to the story how I got introduced to Chessable. So I, I have my blog, right? And yeah. then uh, David, David Kromali, he kind of saw the blog, he liked how I was writing and so on. And he contacted me and asked me to produce some content for, for his startup. Mm -hmm. Called chessable. Mm -hmm. Okay, back time I didn't, I haven't heard of it of many of these. Mm -hmm. Okay, I said, okay, sure. Why I can and he okay explained me uh, the the uh, the idea behind the, the the platform and so on. I said, okay, sure, I can do one course. And I did the simplest Scandinavian, mm -hmm. you know, which is like queen takes d5, queen goes back to d8, you go c6, bishop out e6, and like it was like ten lines or something. Okay. Uh -huh. I said, like, okay, let's, I mean, just for beginners to get the, their PCs out, to get some game, okay, not get mated quickly, not blind ah, okay. quickly, you know, okay. just play something super solid. Mm -hmm. And okay, and I just did it. I did that and okay, it was started to sell. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it was a cheap course. I mean, 10 lines, it was really like some very yeah. basic thing. Yeah. And then uh, I, I was, uh, David actually, who was solving like his own problem of studying theory, by creating chessable he told me look i need some some repertoire against d4 okay why don't you do something about it yeah i said sure i mean what do you want he said i want something solid you know like, i said okay but well queen's gambit decline yeah said, sure yeah yeah do you do the course and then i did the queen's gambit decline but it was just queen's gambit decline yeah okay then he said ah but you should also do everything else you know <laughs> okay and then i did everything else it, it turned out to be a trilogy so uh -huh. three courses in Very like cool. like one back then i mean lifetime repertoires did yeah. not exist as a name you know yes yes and and i did all that and then i was also recording the video for that and mm -hmm. uh, what i learned in that process was i was in constant contact with david and mm -hmm. he was always, and you, as you say, okay, I'm a grandmaster. Come on. I mean, I'm telling you, this is a, you, like a normal move. Like you take, I mean, why do I need to explain this to you? Yeah. Said, no, 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 no. You have to really explain everything. Okay. <laughs> everything. And it was really a very good learning experience for me to work on that first big course, the mm -hmm. trilogy, because he was explaining like, no, no, no. I mean, you're dealing with people rated 1500, 1600 and so on. You have to explain why you move that piece there. Every single move needs to be explained. I was right. very frustrated. I mean, <laughs> I was really completely frustrated. I mean, come on, but this is so obvious. No, 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 yeah. no. Nothing is obvious, he said. Yeah. Wow, okay, fine. And then... Uh, I, I did I, that, okay? And then I learned actually because every course after that, okay? I mean, I'm doing it in this way and I'm getting like these great reviews. People are super happy. Okay, they are content. They like my courses and they, they are buying them, which is good, yeah? And uh, I mean, that, that's how, I mean, the first course went. I mean, th that's why, as you said, it's a huge uh, learning experience. Yeah. Yeah. The first course uh, obviously is like a eye opening uh, experience because uh, uh, a grandmaster or international master or any title players, they have a, a certain way of uh, analyzing and, uh, you know, going through the variations. And uh, obviously, like when, um, when you are, you, when you have to take the same principle uh to a chess player uh, who is like uh, 1000 or 1200 or uh, yeah. 1500 uh, you need to give uh, in depth like why uh, this is happening and uh, i think that is one of the key things which i also learned in fact yes. i uh, i i uh, i do remember that john also did this scandinavian course right some uh, but his I, course is a little bit different uh, yeah, yeah i mean that i mean all the courses are different because mine yeah. was really 10 lines I mean, ah, like, 10 lines is really like less, really yeah. really basic stuff okay yeah, yeah. i mean that was just 10 lines and showing like the basic development and writing yeah. a lot of words what the plans are 
Okay, you want to put a knight on d5, you want to push c5, you want to exchange some pieces, you want to go queen a5, put rook on d8, stuff like that, okay? Just really, really basic stuff. Yeah. yeah. But up to this day, up to this day, people are buying that course because like I said, it's like <laughs> really basic stuff. After 10 minutes, you can already play the Scandinavian, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like. and I mean, definitely, like, uh, you know, uh, sometimes uh, some openings need a little bit in detail some openings you can yeah. play it also depends on the level where you are playing and yeah, course, uh, it's it it, it, it uh, and that's the reason why you must choose the courses which you want to study because uh, obviously it might be an excellent course but if it's not to your liking maybe exactly. So that's very important. And here we have some crazy game uh, as always uh, we have from, uh, <laughs> yeah. and we have a question, why has Nepo pushed the pawns in front of his king? Actually he pushed the pawns and then he castled. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure, yeah. I'm not sure yeah. if, uh, if the, you know, the things went that way. But uh, anyway, you're right uh, about the uh, question that why he pushed his pawns. But as you can see, he's trying to create some kind of uh, fortress. I mean, sometimes you see these kind of structures in French where uh, black kind of close the entire uh, queen side. Uh, here, black has fantastic knights on b6 and d5. I'm sure maybe some kind of concrete way this might, uh, you know, just fall apart. But uh, strategically, uh, black has this... Uh, whole thing uh, yeah, at the moment the yeah. yeah but uh, you know if white manages to bring the bishop uh to uh, yeah i mean i was uh, about to show it and he played the move <laughs> but you know other thing which i was thinking about is knight f3 knight d2 but we have knight f4 on the board <laughs> alex sounds as gary kasparov when he's talking <laughs> that's a nice compliment right yeah thanks yeah yeah <laughs> if only i could play like him it would be better you know yeah <laughs> uh and uh, you you are ba uh, you are based in skopje right and uh, I, I, I and i also read that you finished uh bachelor of arts in uh, english and uh, literature yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 so that's that's the reason uh why he sounds like gary kasparov guys <laughs> Maybe um I don't maybe, know. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, here rook g4 is the idea, or what is his idea? Because if you just take bishop g yeah, take rook g4, yeah, okay, rook, rook g4, g4 yeah. has been played. Uh, and after knight f3, he uh, black has uh, rook g8, yeah. uh, knight g okay, knight g5, rook g2, of course. Yeah. yeah, knight f3. I don't think we will see, but just the, then, I mean? just the speed i mean seven minutes yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the clock and magnus is just one minute 30 seconds wow yeah i uh like uh, in the prelims uh we saw like nepo playing some solid chess and something like that but in the from the like his match against uh so Wesley, there was a fantastic uh, game uh, idea by him uh, in the Berlin, uh, which I really liked. I mean, maybe um, you can say with all the analysis, deep analysis, you can say it doesn't work. But uh, in a practical game, of course, you have to fight. Uh, uh, you have to show what is the refutation. You cannot say I have it in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, all, we all say that we forget our theory, you know. Yes, but uh, it it doesn't help much because you know you can say I have uh, tons of analysis in my computer, but what is the point? Uh, so anyway, we Remember, have yeah. we have h3 and uh, rook h4, queen f3. Nepo doesn't stop. Okay, don't play rook knight d5 because of rook e6. Yeah. Uh, rook takes e6, queen d5, and uh, queen uh, takes e6 here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes king. Yeah, he went king a6 indeed. Okay. I mean, this position it lo looks great for black. I mean, yes, yes. Oh, he needs rook h6 and yeah. uh, uh, not rook f6, but uh, rook g6, I meant. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. okay. I need to remove these arrows. Yeah, the, the, the difference of uh, the pawn on h7 and h6. Imagine if the pawn is not on h7, but yeah, on h6. This, <laughs> this, yeah. this rook is very silly here. Uh, yeah. But with the pawn on its own, of course, this rook is pretty nice once it reaches g6 and I don't see. So I'm just going to uh, draw some arrows. Uh, oh, don't be annoyed if I draw too many arrows here. But uh, white has a dark square bishop and the pawns are uh, like, you know, all dark squares. 
and uh, yeah that's the reason d5 has been played i think it, it, whether it is good or bad just play it because uh, yeah, otherwise you must open up yeah you must open if you just stay uh, if, okay if if you stay knight d5 comes rook h6 rook g6 uh i think a course will come up on chessable how nice it is but <laughs> yeah this is good this is good uh, sometimes uh, you need to go for uh, uh, activity uh, and not stay like passive and you know which uh, uh okay he didn't blunder queen c6 he, he still has queen b6 yeah but first, uh, check, first yeah. check yeah yeah sure yeah. king uh, maybe, yeah well uh, okay maybe queen b6 then or queen, queen b5. b5 queen b no i i i expect nepo to win this game to be honest because uh, yeah there shouldn't be enough this shouldn't be enough because uh, i mean at least if the rook is already on e7 okay it's a different story but uh, yeah, king f1. Queen b7 actually is pretty... No, queen b7 would be made, but uh, queen uh, b5. Yeah, and the queen to f3, I expect. No, rook e1. Okay, this this shows something went wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Rook h3, maybe. How about just exchange? Take on yeah, F4? I think uh, this is how uh, you should play, guys. Just on the stake. But the problem is uh, Nepo will not go for this that's why i'm trying to think how nepo would think yeah um <laughs> uh, yeah okay so he's playing solid uh rook f4 yeah rook f4 nice bishop d4 has been played uh yes what is this to me it seems like it's completely lost for uh, white yeah, yeah, I, I don't see any kind of uh, compensation whatsoever yeah rook f3 rook d3 is just over. yeah the h3 is hanging so it yeah just falls apart everything. well i uh f4 maybe it's yeah f4 why not ah f4 is uh brutal because after bishop d2 he has rook d3 guys when you are winning uh you know you go for a end game uh which you might sacrifice a pawn but it is sure winning because yeah. as long as these rooks are there there can be some tricks but uh Okay, rook f5. He wants to keep the rooks. It's understandable. Uh, what's what's like happening? Or... Yeah, yeah, rook h3. Okay, rook e6. He wants to take bishop c1. Because something like this is just hopeless. Just yeah. no point in playing this. So from that point, bishop to d4. Okay, rook e4. Many, many many moves i mean here yeah. just a matter of taste and uh is any uh are there any new courses uh coming for you in the next few months or uh... well i i hope so i mean i just started working on a new one I, mm -hmm. i'm not sure i can say which one <laughs> okay okay it's uh yeah yeah i understand yeah definitely yeah. but uh yeah. i mean i i hope to to have some one okay one is on uh, the next one should be an opening but then mm -hmm. i have another idea which is not connected to opening so let's see okay how that one, yeah sure sure that's uh that sounds interesting yeah. Yeah. and uh yeah if if black trades uh rook uh it's pretty easy i think uh it's i mean also here it's pretty easy because he can even get the king to a4 b3 c2 yeah, if he yeah. wants uh, if he wants to get it but i think d4 and uh, uh magnus is fighting but uh it's uh, uh no chance to survive here for black oh, in my opinion soon enough he'll resign i think yeah i think so and uh, nepo doesn't even think like he he doesn't care he just plays no, fast just... <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. just plays fast yeah 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 and uh you are you are based in uh in skopje or uh, yeah right now i'm i'm in skopje yeah right now okay. i'm in skopje i mean can't even travel yeah. i mean because of the situation so uh, yes yeah not, yeah not much choice yeah yeah you and know, uh, just stay at home work a lot you know? <laughs> yes yes and uh, uh i want to also tell the viewers that the actual schedule is five uh, six seven and eight but uh, all the games have been uh, over by 7 20 rough uh, approximately so i don't know what they are going to do if they are going to start uh at once or they are going to wait for a while uh to give some break uh yeah yeah nepo one uh don't underestimate um and uh so nepo is leading he just needs a draw in the next round but 
it's it's great to play uh, against Nepo when uh, you know you need to win because he gives you some chances and exactly. uh, he yeah it he, will be I think it will be interesting to see how he approaches the next game he'll be white mm-hmm. he needs a draw yeah mm-hmm. so how does he go about it I mean I think some people just don't know how to play for a draw with white I mean for a draw with <laughs> either color yes so <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that that's uh, that's a uh, nice point. I I don't know. I I can't recall. Maybe Mo- uh, Alexander Morozovic comes to my mind when uh, you know a good opponents when uh, you need to win. Can you yeah, think yeah. of some top players? Um, well, not sure. I mean, if you're saying top players like top ten or like top. No, no, no. Uh, like generally, like maybe you know, Topalov. Okay, I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if you remember yeah. the last game of the match in in Sofia with Dan, yes, I mean, yes. you'll remember. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the the Queen E8 movie and yeah, Queen exactly. to H5. Yes, yes, absolutely. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, I uh, and uh, of course Jan is a very strong player, and uh, the thing is he will fight for uh, victory, and that gives you some chances. I yeah. mean, with uh, with White, that's very important. Okay, they don't uh, wait, so they are uh, they have started the games. And uh, uh, I don't want to <laughs> ask you, but uh, I, I have to ask you, probably you heard already, <laughs> you have just one chance to pick the winner. <laughs> and you... <laughs> no, you can choose any anyone out of the four. It's uh, totally fine. And well, I, mean, uh, I would say Carlson, but uh, yeah. that's not very original. But uh... yeah. Uh, but right now, actually, he might lose uh, to this. Uh, yeah, he might uh, lose today. He might he lose win tomorrow. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, uh, it's it's not an easy. And I mean, right now, uh, he's uh, trailing by uh, two to one, and uh, yeah, must win to tie the must score. Must win. Or, yeah. yeah, it's not easy. Not easy at all. And uh, Wesley uh, just made a quick draw. Uh, I mean, we, we were analyzing uh, uh, the other game, uh, thinking that uh, Anish's game will not start. By the time we, uh, you know, it's like 6.01 and we see the game of Anish and Wesley finish. So it was like some kind of forced draw, uh, yeah. which happened in the Grunfeld. Uh, do you like uh, Grunfeld uh, defense or uh, it's not your taste? Or, you know- well, the Grunfeld, you know, I mean, it's I have a kind of an interesting relationship with the Grunfeld, if you can say it, yeah? Okay. I mean, you know, I started with the Kings Indian as like all young players. And then after a while, I also switched to Grunfeld. And I mean, I can actually borrow what I've read about Mikhail Tal's relationship to the Grunfeld. And I think he said that he was always platonically in love with the Grunfeld, <laughs> you know? And I can say the same, you know? And I'll tell you why, because I like the idea of the Grunfeld, I mean, I like the dynamism. I like the idea of attacking the center and so on. But, you but my results want to were always it. bad with it. Yes. You know, my results were always bad with it. I was yeah. playing it for a while. I was studying it. I was I, I was well prepared and so on. But my results were always bad with it. So yeah. that's why I say I like it. But theoretically, you know, platonically, <laughs> maybe. You know? Just to just to watch someone else playing. Yeah, that, that, that's a joy. Yeah, that's, yeah, a, joy. that's a joy. Yeah. But that's yeah. also a trick because, I mean, when I see somebody else playing, I say, oh, but this is beautiful. I want to play like this. And I yeah. can't play like that. So it's- I, I think, uh, yeah, Grunfeld is definitely uh, such opening that you when you see uh, beautiful games by Peter Swidler, yeah. uh, you know, uh, Domingo is actually comes to my mind, and then yeah. uh, Maxim Vashelagra. Okay, he starts with bad position in Grunfeld, but he he yeah. has very good feeling, and he uh, yeah. he wins them. Uh, you just like okay, I should play this, you know. Yeah, 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 <laughs> but yeah. the time uh, you start uh, analyzing it, and like okay, maybe <laughs> some yeah, other yeah, maybe, no. some other time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not. I mean, I like it, and but I was playing it for a while. And I have quite a few games in it, like maybe like some like 30, 40, or even more. But mm-hmm. but I just my I, I these positions were not quite to my to my liking. And yeah, uh, well, uh, Peter Swidler is uh, uh, making a course on uh, Grunfeld yeah. uh, pretty soon. Uh, so I'm I'm looking forward uh, to yeah to see uh, what he to says. see yeah. what he says. It's always great to uh, you know when he made the f- uh, first course on uh, Chess Twenty Four long back uh, in yeah, 2013 yeah. and 14. Uh, it was really like 
kind of uh, like you know top grandmaster making uh, giving away some yeah, of the, yeah, yeah. some of the openings which he plays which uh, yeah so we'll see and uh, yeah i know this variation a little bit uh, so the yeah, point is if white takes on d5 uh, like he says okay i i lose this but i also mm -hmm. i'm capturing uh, a2 pawn and c5 now uh, white black would like to get something like c6 exchange this bishop for the knight on g1 get the knight to d7 rook e8 and break the center with e5 I remember this is a, uh, there there are some similarities with your Chebonenko Slav yeah, exactly. uh, to exactly. this. Um, for those of you uh, who uh, do not know what is Chebonenko Slav, uh, it it goes like this: yeah. uh, Knight f6, Knight f3, uh, a6, or it can be also e3, a6. It doesn't really matter. So c5. And uh, this is where uh, black has a uh, lot of, uh, I mean, not, not only c5, of course, white has uh, yeah. other, other choices as well. Uh, but so c5, you know, not allowing this b5 break. And this is when uh, white, black tries to, uh, you know, remove this bishop for this knight particularly. Uh, because this knight can't really attack this d4 pawn. I'm trying to tell as simple as possible. Of course, that's that's uh, too too much simplifying. But uh, yeah, so then um, black wants to get knight bd7, knight uh, e5, and then this pawn uh, on c5 can be weak. So that's uh, like a basic uh, plan, I would say. Of course, if you have some more things or you know if you don't agree with what i said you can tell of course no no it's i mean yeah this is the basic idea black has two pawn breaks one is e5 the other one is b6 and i mean he wants to go like bishop out of the pawn chain then maybe go e6 knight d7 bishop e7 short castle then maybe knight e4 bishop f6 e5 or queen c8 bishop d8 bishop c7 and e5 like all these plans behind the pawn chain so it's very Kind of a, I was analyzing a lot of these positions when I was working on the Chebanenko, and they're kind of, you know, they they give you this good feeling of safety behind the pawn chain, you know. I mean, yeah. they are not very simple. I mean, yeah, yeah, but I mean, they're they're quite play playable. I mean, complex yeah. middle game positions you're getting. So it's of course uh, one of the key things. Uh, like many times, I notice the uh, the feeling you get. Like you have this pawn chain, and uh, you feel well. You will get b4, a4, and things like that. But a break, that like a timely break uh, in the center. I mean, that's also a chess principle. Like when you are, uh, you know, when uh, when opponent is attacking on any flank, you need to break in the center. So in yeah. order to disturb the whole force, so it also fits in that disc uh, into that chess principle. Uh, it can go really bad for white uh, um, pretty quick because I, yeah. uh, I I I know I saw some games of uh, Katakamski I think in this variation yeah. a long time ago. Uh, he plays it so well. Uh, I mean, it's it's uh, it's, um, it's 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 not that easy to you know uh, observe, but uh, he plays it really well and he wins the games without yeah. much effort. So it's nice. So yeah, it's it's quite dangerous, and uh, bl white should not be careless in order uh, thinking that okay, black's pieces are tied down and stuff. The moment one break happens, and uh, the whole thing uh, just collapses. So yeah, that's that's the easily, yeah, the structure can easily collapse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why I it just reminded me of you know the position which yeah, we yeah. probably will see here so once again here uh, the same concept uh, try to make white play f3 and uh, break e5 uh, I, I mean maybe it's uh, is it black to play or white to play it's, yeah, black, it's black to, black play. to play i suppose the, the bishop is hanging yeah 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 absolutely so bishop to e6 or uh, I, I mean, e5, yeah, e5. Uh, I I mean, I have to calculate a little bit. F takes g4. E takes f4. Um, here, knight f4. If e takes f4, you have yeah, queen h4 and uh, taking. Okay, knight uh, g3, bishop d4. Yeah, it's good for. Me. Yeah. So, so knight f4, but you know, this is not over because rook e2, and uh, <laughs> it just keeps going, and that that's yeah. exactly even knight f6 because. 
black is also threatening bishop uh, takes d4 and that's as... what he played yeah he played d5 yeah i think uh yeah anish is uh, good in this kind of uh, breaks i feel uh if d takes e5 uh you yeah, can go bishop d6 and, and this... now it falls apart yeah i mean yeah. the center yeah and we have bishop e5 knight e5 d takes e5 uh what's going on here Actually, I don't care that much if uh, white saves this pawn. I mean, sometimes uh, the pawn looks nice, but uh, with the, uh, two bishops, it can be a bit... And also f6, I mean, yeah. open up the position then. So... Uh, yeah, just I'm not sure if the bishop is better placed on e6 or d7 or c8, because each of them has uh, its own advantages and disadvantages. Yeah. So bishop d7 stops uh, this knight from coming to d7 on, even though it's uh, defending the c6 pawn. Uh, I like bishop c8. It's a bit strange, but maybe that's uh, not so bad. Yeah, it has been played. Bishop c8, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so bishop e5 is threatened. I expect uh, Wesley to go uh, f4. Yeah, because if he loses the pawn, he has no compensation for the, for the lack of bishop pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and now, uh, of course, uh, I don't know if we should we should start with the b5 or uh, knight uh, d7, you know. A lot of uh, <laughs> dynamics happening yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure because also, yeah, f6, absolutely. Yeah, you mentioned f6. Yeah. Um, he takes f6 most likely to happen. And now, of course, it's a choice between queen f6 or bishop f6, probably queen f6. Probably, yeah, queen a, yeah, queen f6 has been played. I think this is a, a pretty good compensation uh, for the sacrificed pawn. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, that knight on a4 is always like out of the yeah. game. You have, to, I mean, you have to guard c5, so... Yeah. Mm. I, I quite like this kind of sacrifice, you know, like when... Uh, like. When the white's knight is on d4 and uh, then black goes e8, uh, sacrifice on e3, yeah. then just takes it and uh, you know somehow this b takes c5, c4, th that yeah. kind of setup. I am of course if you have knight c5, uh, it's uh, not not worth talking. Uh, this exchange sacrifice, but when you have this d5, c6, c4, yeah, and yeah, the yeah. nice bishop on d4, yeah, but that's like sometimes automatically winning you know just yes. your pawns and just win yes uh, i i don't know if we are going to see such a thing here but i feel uh, it is a nice compensation uh, for black uh, was there any uh, any um, variations like of course uh, in Japan and Co, okay it's you uh, yeah, pawn is already on a6 pawn so is on a6 so it's a different uh, different setup obviously yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, apart from uh, like uh, uh, making courses on chessable do you also train uh, uh, students very little very uh, little yeah i mean uh, i have like a lot of commitments okay i mean you probably know i'm the president of the acp oh yes i that's my next question but yeah. okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm getting there <laughs> yeah so, so yeah a lot of things to do and i don't have that i mean i have a few students but that not not a lot okay and uh, yeah, that brings uh, next question. You are uh, like you were first general secretary yeah. uh, from 2016, and then uh, you uh, you became the president of uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Association of Chess Professionals. Yeah. And uh, how did you uh, you know get the interest uh, to uh, join uh, ACP? Well, and I mean it was a bit strange because I wasn't planning or anything. And uh, in 16, 2016, uh, Emil, Emil Sutovsky, who was the president at the time, he just contacted me. I mean, I've known him like since ages. We played in this world under 18 in 1994. <laughs> okay. So we know each other for a very long time. And he, he just contacted me and said, Hey, Alex, would you like to join ACP? I said, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> that yeah. needs a clip, guys. <laughs> yeah, like, why? Yeah. And I said, well, okay, we have these ideas and so on. And I think you would be a good, uh, good person to be the general secretary. Mm -hmm. I said, Whoa, wait a second. I mean, I have a lot of things to do. I mean, general secretary, it's a pretty technical job. I mean, 
I have to be doing a lot of writing and I don't know, taking notes and contacting. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Said, yeah, yeah, but it's not that much. I can do it, you know. <laughs> he tricked me. Yes, <laughs> I think uh, I I understand what you are trying to yeah. say. Okay, okay so that's me and, yeah. And, and okay, I accepted, and then uh, okay, I was there. We, we were trying to do some things, managed to do some, failed in others, mm -hmm. and then uh, okay, the big change happened in 2018 when uh, yeah, when Emil went to to Fide, mm -hmm. and then uh, us that we remained in the in the ACP, we had to think what to do, and basically I was again tricked. Because they, they made me the president. One more clip. <laughs> they made me the president, and now I'm basically in charge of this organization. And, okay. But actually, just right now, we have this uh, general assembly and extraordinary general assembly going on. Uh -huh. it, it is until the 22nd of March. Mm -hmm. And we are introducing some statute changes. And basically, we're changing the idea of the association. I mean, up till now, it has always been players' rights, you know, just professionals, uh, maybe organizing tournaments and so on. But now we're changing the, the direction a little bit. We are more, more moving towards a think tank uh, uh -huh. idea. You know, we want yeah. to serve more as a platform where people sh would feel free to contact us, to share their ideas. We want to publish these ideas on our websites, on our socials, to, to encourage discussion, you know. Uh -huh. We just want to be more open to the, to the public. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I think the the players have all like for quite some time have been kind of wary of the ACP, like yeah. probably considering it like a dormant organization, not doing much. Yeah. And uh, like, why should they join? Okay, we do yeah. have some like prizes for our premium members for at the European Individual Championships, and basically that's the main reason people join. Yeah. Uh, you know. Oh, you are quite uh, honest about it. <laughs> you know, but I know, I know. I mean, that's how okay. it is. That's okay. why I want to. I want to change. I mean, we still we will still have the prizes. I mean, by the way. <laughs> but I just want to change the the idea. You know, I just yeah. want to to make it more open, more like I could say member friendly. Mm -hmm. You know, people to share their ideas, to, to discuss. Mm -hmm. You know, and then if these ideas to get traction, maybe we can influence Fide mm -hmm. and, and do something about it. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I don't want to uh, make any controversies, but uh, just I am curious, uh, like this hybrid thing has been like a talk of thing. I mean, sometimes yeah. I, I mean, if you don't want to talk about it, I perfectly understand. But uh, like, I mean, personally, I feel that uh, uh, hybrid rating, I mean, if we have a classical rapid and uh, blitz rating, uh, perhaps in future we are going to have Fisher random rating. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, why not to have a hybrid uh, rating? I mean, it's nice to have uh, the competitions, but uh, at the same time you can just have. Of course, it's. Uh, I would like to hear uh, your opinion. I mean, you can say your opinion yeah. at at the same time as uh, ACP if you want to share. It's up well, to you. I mean, we haven't discussed this in big detail within the ACP. I can give you my personal opinion. Sure. And my personal opinion is that hybrid complicates things a lot because, okay. I mean, calculating rating, of course, there, there are major concerns about uh, fair play and uh, getting ratings for hybrid. Then how do you incorporate that? I mean, do you get titles based on that? Because you, you, you may have the same time control, let's say classical. Mm -hmm. and then you have one rating in, in normal chess, like over the board. And then you have another rating in hybrid. For the same mm -hmm. time control, so ah, this okay. complicates things quite a lot. I mean, and then what about the titles? Yeah, are you? I, I mean, it just complicates things a lot. And yeah. for example, I mean, we will get a very soon. We will get a good test about the hybrid because uh, the uh, qualifications for the World Cup in uh -huh. Europe uh -huh. will be in hybrid, hybrid, wow. hybrid format. Yeah. Wow. And okay. this is this is scheduled for the end of May, more or less. Uh -huh. Okay. And okay. it will be hybrid. So I mean, we will see how this goes. And I think FIDE still has not uh, come to a decision whether that uh, tournament will be rated. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's it's not yet. Uh, uh, I mean, it's not I don't decided. Think this has been decided. Uh, I'm not yeah. quite sure. Okay. 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 So it's Fine. very complicated, actually. It's yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I mean, I'm just asking uh, because, you know, we have a uh, rapid rating, uh, blitz yeah. rating, uh, then perhaps if we in future we have some more uh, uh, time controls or Fisher uh, Chess 960 or yeah. I don't know. I mean, any any variant can come up. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah exactly. We, exactly. One cannot be sure that we'll only uh, be playing, uh, you know, classical rapid and yeah, blitz. Yeah, yeah. So. 
perhaps we can we uh, is it good uh, to have some kind of uh, let's say um like already we start thinking about like if something comes up how do we approach rather than waiting uh, that something happens and then we start to think like yeah, yeah. like uh, my point is that why don't we think a little bit ahead okay we have a good rating system at, at least for the moment yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, how can we take uh, i mean just my thoughts of course uh, uh, i i i am not the one who is playing the hybrid rating yeah. uh, thing so the players who are playing uh, in that can uh, have a better uh, understanding yeah. and idea uh so anyway i just wanted to ask uh, your opinion uh, on this uh, it's good to know uh, like you know as a player actually i wanted to yeah. ask rather than on president of act yeah, yeah sure no no i mean i think it's just very complicated there are a lot of things that need to be cleared up i mean mm -hmm. you cannot really guarantee 100% okay like uh, fair play conditions right yeah. i mean yeah. somebody may be playing in a very nice uh, i don't know uh, chess club and another one can be playing in some i don't know noisy chess club and again i mean yeah. they're not in the same place they're yeah. in different time zones i mean ah. it's just like too many too many unknowns yeah uh, this is one thing also uh, worries me because time zone is a very important uh, oh, yeah. uh, important thing let's say if uh, something like uh, chess olympiad or uh, um, yeah, just yeah. let just let's take some huge event yeah. and uh, you have players from USA, you have players from Europe, you have players yeah, from India, Asia. Yeah, you have like yeah. The world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you combine all these players? And actually, uh, I mean, for me, uh, chess Olympiad or all these uh, all the tournaments with big festivals is more like a uh, not just chess and rating and titles yeah. but it is also more of a social gathering yeah, you know absolutely. i mean i i don't get the chance to meet my friends otherwise if i'm not playing one of these events so uh, yeah that's something uh, uh, which i was uh, i mean thinking about and uh, yeah that's good to know and uh, we see that uh, anish uh, you know exchanged this bishop eventually with the knight yeah. on he uh, yeah. do i but i mean now probably white is also doing okay right because uh, okay now, yeah, even, I mean, yeah. even if he loses the c3 pawn some exchanges take place here um, maybe it's not so bad as uh, i um, i thought like i mean maybe uh, i was a little bit more optimistic for White's chances here. But, I mean, that should be kind of around equalish, I would say, yeah. because some compensation still remains, yeah? Uh, okay. I'm just checking some random stuff, but uh, it's not necessary. Yeah. Uh, because if king h8, I thought I can play rook c7 and uh, bishop b5 things. I, I can be easily wrong here because there are simply too many things hanging. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, here. Um, yeah, we have to wait and see how Anish uh, is going to, you know, put pressure here, or uh, it's uh, it's just going to be some kind of uh, equal. Yeah. Yeah, it may think things may fizzle out soon enough. Yeah. I mean, depending. Yeah, I have a, a question from the chat. I will answer. Yeah. Uh, uh, how does a normal work day look like a super gym like you? Do you do puzzles or opening prep, or what is the most important thing to spend the time on it? That's a good level? question. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, yeah. So basically, um, I, I, I mean, I explained also in uh, earlier that uh, I personally like to uh, work on all the aspects of chess. Uh, because uh, if I don't work on, let's say, end games or uh, middle game, uh, that's where my opponents are going to go. And it's not that hard for uh, my opponents to, uh, to understand this. It just takes like few, a few games and they will understand that I am uh, doing... I, I feel uncomfortable uh, in middle game. Everyone will just, you know, not go uh, to the place where I'm strong at. So as a top player, I have to focus on all the areas uh, uh, in my game. And uh, naturally, you know, um, we always like to play blades 
uh, or bullets it's good it's definitely good it improves uh, your you know tactical ability and uh, other things but uh, one should not uh, neglect uh, the analysis part like to work on chess it's uh, it's really important i feel uh, you know to because sometimes uh, you, you get lost when you are playing uh, these games you know you lose and you get really really <laughs> annoyed and then you keep playing one after the other so that's why you have to you have to have uh, control over how many uh, hours you play blitz <laughs> Um, I mean, I, I remember playing Blitz. That I mean, I've even written uh, uh, like, uh, okay, I, I, I mean, on my blog, I also have this newsletter that I send out every Saturday. And one of the more popular uh, these new of newsletters was like when I was recommending to people what not to do. Okay, mm -hmm, I mean, you mm -hmm. always say, what should I do? What should I do? Okay, fine. Yeah, but what not to do? And one of these things I recommended was not to play too much Blitz. You know. <laughs> Because I remember, I, I mean, it, this was like in the beginning of the century, okay? Yeah. I was spending a lot of time in France because I was playing for a French club. And uh, uh -huh. okay. normally, normally February, March, there would be some of these uh, weekend games. And uh, I would also visit the Monaco tournament with, with all these guys playing. And I was having a good time. And when I was like doing nothing, like during the week, I would just stay at my friend's place and just play Blitz all, the, all day, <laughs> like con continually, you know? <laughs> and what I happened was like, after a while, I was turning into a mouse clicking machine. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You know, just go and click, 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 and you lose again, you win again. It doesn't matter. You just click, 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 click. Yeah. And your, your brain switches off. Yes. And then all the positives of the yeah. of the blitz actually just go to waste. Yeah. You know, actually, you yeah, it's there are a lot of positive uh, things when you are playing blitz, but uh, if you don't have control on when to stop. Then yeah. as uh, Alex explained, <laughs> click, 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 click. Yeah, click, click, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just start true. clicking, you know, I mean, but, but you know, it's very funny because I noticed I was kind of lying to myself. I would say, no, no, I'm, it's not, I'm not calculating. I'm playing on intuition, you know, <laughs> bullshit. I mean, I was just clicking. I was not, not intuition, <laughs> no calculation, nothing. Just click, mouse clicking, you know, <laughs> so it's just, I mean, it's, yeah. it's a trap, you know, it's a trap. Yeah. You have to be really, yeah. very, uh, yeah, you, you, you need to understand when to stop and uh, that's all. Uh, there is uh, nothing, uh, nothing in particular about playing blitz. Um, yeah, another uh, uh, question, but uh, like um, we saw a lot of online uh, boom uh, over the past year, uh, to, like uh, since the pandemic started and uh, like some over the board events are uh, happening, uh, but not very few, not that many, actually very few. And uh, like you can answer as a I mean, uh, as a president, or you prefer personally, I would prefer personally to not yeah, to sure. have any kind of uh, issues <laughs> with that. Uh, like, I feel like uh, definitely a lot of players, um, you know, uh, top 30, let's say, are getting to play some uh, the Champions Chess Tour online events or some uh, other over the board events and some, uh, some players like 20, in 2500. But a majority of them, like uh, maybe between 2,500 to 2,680 ish. Uh, and uh, yeah. ha, uh, like, I, I mean, I don't know the players, but I'm just asking, like, how yeah. do we solve this? Like, it's uh, if, if, if they don't have more, uh, I mean, events starting hopefully soon, uh, it's like almost a survival, right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, I can tell you, I mean, last year in, in the in the middle of the pandemic, in the summer, actually, ACP uh, organized an online tournament in cooperation with Chessbase. And mm -hmm. we, we, we planned this event as a, like, you know, as a help to, to this type of players, okay, who, who don't get these chances to play for hundreds of thousands of, of dollars, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And our idea was that everybody who played in that event would get a prize. Okay, okay. okay? Yeah. So it was like, we want to help. Okay. This is the tournament. Okay. Please enroll. Okay. Express mm -hmm. your desire mm -hmm. to play and, uh, you're getting a prize. Okay. 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 And the funny thing, the funny thing was that, uh, we, we, we had an open event and a women's event, right? Mm -hmm. We could not get the number of players we planned. Oh, so we were planning for 32 player knockout for the, for the open event uh -huh. and we couldn't get to 32. 
Oh, wow. This was uh, shocking. I mean, we tried to help the player. We said, okay, you, we know you're suffering. Okay, we, we, can, we cannot help much, but at least we can help you a little bit. You, you get yeah. something guaranteed. Yeah. And we still did not get enough players to for, for both events, both women and, and the Open. And this was okay. shocking, you know? Yeah, that and, is... And, then, uh... and, and I was thinking, okay, I was thinking, and then I was saying, okay, but do these players really need help? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, at the first sight, it appears, yeah, they do need help. They, they base their living on playing. They want yeah. to play and so on. Yeah. But when you offer this chance to play and win something guaranteed, they don't show up. Mm -hmm. So okay. it was a very strange phenomenon, you know? Okay. And then, I mean... Okay, I drew some conclusions from this. Mm -hmm. ACP also did draw some conclusions, but they mm -hmm. were not really, I mean, you know, uh, very optimistic ones. I mean, okay, so... okay, okay, understand. Yeah, 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 okay. So, yeah, because, uh, like, uh, I mean, I, I didn't meet uh, much many players, but uh, just I feel that a lot of events which were supposed to take place, like all the opens, league, yeah, all the opens, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, especially leagues. Uh, yeah. I mean, many leagues got cancelled, and this is like the main source of income for uh, yeah. many chess players. And also, uh, I mean, we should not uh, forget about the um, fact that you know women tournaments are uh, uh, like after the pandemic uh, we did not have many uh, women uh, events like uh, probably none at yeah probably none at all right or the, there were some yeah, I, mean, I, I don't recall uh, pro uh, well uh, but yeah i mean these are i'm just addressing because these are some of the issues um, i don't know if there is a concrete solution or some kind of thing we can uh, no, I I don't, I mean, I'm not sure if there is a generic solution that solves yeah. everybody's problems. You know? Yeah, yeah, def yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, yeah. and, and what I think is that players, like, by nature, we are all individualists, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and we always try to solve our own problems, not the problems of the, of the community or the, right. you know. Right. And I think what the players have done was exactly this. Everybody was looking for their own personal solution. Mm -hmm, yeah? mm -hmm. Somebody took up streaming, somebody took up more classes, somebody took up writing books, somebody mm -hmm. took up who knows what, yeah? Yeah. And then, uh, I mean, everybody's solving their own problem. And uh, in a way, this, this distracts them from maybe thinking for the more, more global mm -hmm. solution for everybody to make it better for everybody and so on. Okay. So this yeah. nature of ours, like individualistic nature, which is, I think, generally a good one, mm -hmm. sometimes prevents us from finding global solutions that would, be, that would benefit everybody. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, it's uh, good, uh, I mean, nice to hear uh, your views and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see uh, what is happening. Uh, I hope it, it improves uh, the situation and uh, tournaments oh, yeah. uh, return uh, and uh, I'm uh, looking forward, you know, the over the board events uh, for me. It's, yeah, yeah uh, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, everybody. it's great to, uh, I mean, I got some chances to play. Uh, I was a little fortunate than my uh, friends. Uh, but yeah, here I, I like what uh, Anish uh, is doing um, because, I mean, I don't, I mean, I, I, I'm sure as a Chebunenko, uh, you know, you, you, uh, it's it's pretty clear that uh, these pawns can yeah, yeah. be quite uh, yeah. weak at some point. And bishop f5, uh, let's say I go queen e5, then you have rook to g5, yeah? Yeah, this is, this is really good. Rook f6 and rook bf8, and this bishop is not going to stay here forever. Yeah, yeah. No, the bishop is severely limited by this chain so, d5 e4. Yeah, so he has to go rook h3 here, uh, h6. And now maybe get the queen, queen e2, queen g4 or something. Yeah, uh, but sure. then, the, but then yeah. see, if, see, I mean, also there is nothing here. Like there is, yeah, uh, there is nothing. And uh, what is this rook doing on h3? Yes, yeah, that's uh, queen e2. We have queen e2 actually. Yeah, immediately, yeah. Maybe queen h5, maybe queen g5. Ah, so I'll just show the trick uh, for viewers. So if something like queen c5, king h7, rook takes f6, bishop f6, queen h5 uh, yeah. is checkmate. So that's why we are not going to see queen c5. But if he goes rook b uh, d f8, uh, I think he will play queen h5. h6. h6. Yeah. h6. Maybe just he go, he, uh, I don't know, <laughs> feel like something might be there, but I don't see it. Yeah. 
Uh, no, we it's we don't like have here. Queen f7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is good. This is good. He just stopped uh, Queen h5. Um, but I can go Queen g4. Yeah, bishop b6 tricks or no Bishop b6 tricks? Not not yet, not yet. But uh, let's say he goes for Rook b8. I can go Rook f4. And now Can't I'm go Bishop b6. Or... No, because uh, he will take. Uh, uh, Rook. Ah, yeah, it's just, so it's that's just... why I want to uh, yeah, I move first the... move the rook. I mean, uh, rook f8, rook f4, and now I am now threatening. I am uh, threatening that. Um... Yeah. So he went queen g4. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Okay. So good. Yeah. yeah. Queen g4, and uh, now what's the threat? Well, move the rook yeah, and play. The rook. Bishop. Yeah, but he must go rook f4. I think, uh, or h3 maybe. But I like to keep this option, yeah, option somehow. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know, rook f4 or rook f2. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> so if king to h8, what are we seeing? Oh, you still can play bishop e6. Yeah. And go back. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's actually not a bad draw. No, not a bad draw, yeah. Uh, also, I don't see uh, how else white can, uh, you know, continue because, okay, um, queen is seven, yes. Yeah, that's what they played, so yes. Oh, they, uh, oh yeah, he played. Yeah. And uh, are they repeating? Yeah, uh, or well, not? No, no, not yet, no, not yet, yet, not yet, not yet. I see that uh, uh, Nepo is doing uh, fine so far. Of course, uh, Magnus keeps. A little bit of chance yeah. there, but I don't see much actually. Uh, engine says minus four. So sorry, what minus four? Uh, for for whom? For here, uh, black oh. is winning. Black, black is, is winning. winning. Black is winning. How is black winning? Winning five or what? I mean, how is it? Bishop at six. Ah, nice. So now he uh, he just removes and queen e five or queen c five. Yeah. Yeah, black uh, black seems good, but uh, yeah, he, I think Wesley went uh, really wrong in the opening to allow this kind of f takes e4. Yeah, yeah, you know, everything. you cannot uh, uh, give this give this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is wrong. Yeah, he probably underestimated. I mean, actually, maybe overestimated his dynamic ideas. Yeah. like after all this. Uh, yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll just quickly go to Magnus' uh, game. I. I mean, it's it seems pretty uh, equal to me. Yeah. Uh, okay, he has this um, white bishop is a bit uh, uh, poorly placed, but not that much uh, actually. So if he gets d4, it's in the right time. Okay, knight b6. That's that's uh, that's just concrete way. No, I don't think uh, he's gonna. Uh, yeah, Anish uh, actually won both his games. Uh, uh, after losing the first game and uh, he uh, no i think i think he will win this somehow and what about oh queen e3 not sure if uh, what yan did is is very good so d4 oh, but I, yeah i mean knight can jump around yeah <laughs> yes yes knight is always a dangerous piece guys yeah. knight is always dangerous so he takes d4 rook b7 Queen a three. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, I also have rook b three. I no rook b three is no no rook b three is bad. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Rook b three. I just yeah. take, yeah. and then we we are going. To, okay, yeah, this okay. is just winning. Yeah, yeah. This is this is uh, winning. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe he takes d four. Uh, rook b seven. Queen a seven. Maybe just take it. Queen e3, I have king h1 and rook is hanging. Otherwise, uh, you will have some ideas, but. But even, he, I mean, okay, knight f He went knight f6. Now rook b3 is okay. Now rook b3, yeah. Okay, he can still play on, move the. Yeah, yeah, but uh, queen f8, okay. Yeah. So he he uh, he has to uh, play queen f8, yeah, there is yeah. nothing. Because otherwise, it's a perpetual. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. Maybe he can take a d takes e5. Uh, knight g4 and queen d6 yeah. doesn't look very pretty, but on the other hand, I have h3 immediately. 
Yeah. Pretty interesting stuff going on here. Uh, yeah, because I mean, this can be a long game. If somehow, let's say, even if White takes d5, then these triple pawns can all be yeah. attacked. And even if some end game, yeah, you know, yeah, something like 95 or yeah, something. Yeah. Then it can go on for a while. So exactly. let's uh, let's stay with this. I think this we will soon uh, get the result for sure. So, and uh, yeah, do check out uh, the courses which Alex uh, uh, made on Chessable. And uh, also, uh, I I will promote my course. So today and tomorrow, my course is on sale. Uh, do get it, and. Uh, yeah, I especially, uh, you know, French toast uh, is my, uh, since it's a first uh, course, I just have a special feeling towards that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's that, you know. Uh... May I ask, ask you actually a question? Yes, please. Because, because you have played like all these players, right? And uh, you mentioned also the Baku Olympiad um, when I was playing. And I remember when I finished my last round game, Yeah, uh, I was I finished relatively quickly. I made a draw and I was I went to the to watch the top boards. Yes. And I, as it happened was like I stood in the middle and on the left hand side was Carlson playing somebody. Yeah. And on the right hand side, it was Kramnik playing somebody. Yeah. And then I kind of I was in the middle and I was watching them and I felt this very strong energy coming from Carlson. Yeah. Okay. It, it was as if it was re, uh, like pushing me away, you know? Yeah. Whereas with Kramnik was a bit different. I also felt a strong energy, yeah. but it wasn't like pushing me. It was just yeah. there. Yeah. So can you, can you please explain like how you feel playing Kramnik, playing Carlson? Do you feel this energy? How do you feel when you sit across the board uh, from them? Uh, well, uh, it, like I, I have been playing them uh, for a uh, while. Uh, obviously, yeah. like uh, at the beginning when you, you know, just reach twenty seven hundred. Uh, also, not even twenty seven hundred, but you start playing the big guys. Like when you are uh, around twenty seven forty and so on, um, you start to doubt yourself. Uh, I also mentioned this uh, few, uh, few, few hours or like few minutes ago that uh, confidence uh, plays in an important role. Of course, understanding calculation are also important, but uh, one of the points um, which happens to, let's say, uh, lower rated or uh, the ones who just are getting into the big league is the uh, checking the same move again and again, the uh -huh. same variation again and again. And perhaps their first choice or first uh, uh, the first variation which they saw is absolutely right, but they will never play it. And uh, I mean, I don't. I'm not talking that you should be overconfident, but you should be reasonably uh, satisfied with what you are uh, calculating. Like not to be like, okay, I will play whatever I want, and then uh, you know, I, I was confident. That's not confidence. That's more like I don't want to take the pressure. So that's the pressure is the second part. Uh, which is like pressure along with responsibility. Like, you know, when you make a move, you are taking responsibility for uh, that move. You have to say, I pick this move. If I uh, win, I am right. If I lose, I am wrong. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot say my computer told me I'm winning or, uh, you know, if I had more time, I can win. And uh, these excuses are not excuses really are not working, not working uh, so well. And that's exactly why they are so strong. Like uh, the players who are uh, uh, at the top, uh, they are not looking for excuses. Uh, just they are trying to find the best uh, defense in difficult positions, trying to find, uh, ch try to create chances and things like that. So, yeah. And how was your personal experience playing with them? How, how did you feel? Oh, it was great. It was great. I played uh, 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 some very strong events uh, at the Shamkir, uh, yeah. Norway Chess Vikansi. and so on, Vikansi, uh Shenzhen uh, Masters and so on. So I really enjoy uh, playing uh, uh, these uh, uh, players because then you get to test your uh, skills. Like, you know, when you are playing a uh, different level, 
you think you are doing very well but you are missing the fine points which you will uh, which you will find out when you play the big guys because yeah. uh, even the smallest chance they get uh, they are going to uh, they are not giving chances like uh, you know uh, so it's it's a great learning experience i must say like one example i can give is like players uh, who played against uh, gary kasparov like when he was uh, you know not all the youngsters got the chance because yeah, yeah. you know he retired in 2005 yeah. but uh, those uh, who uh, who got the chance uh, to play against them in 2003 linares or 2004 and so on it's a great uh, experience because then you understand like how much you are supposed to, you, you how much you don't know <laughs> about certain opening because you think that you have studied well you you know you feel because you won so many things you feel that you are you are a strong player and then when you get uh, one you know crushing <laughs> from one of these top players then uh, you get to the next level so that's how uh, it goes and um, yeah uh, i haven't played against uh, uh, gary kasparov uh, unfortunately yeah. hope i hope i can i can maybe yeah, in one of the st louis events uh, so yeah, me- meanwhile anish won uh, actually i don't i don't think uh, wesley blundered because basically this is just uh, losing uh, for him uh, the moment he got this c6 d5 e4 i really didn't like because the whites whites counter attack is basically dead and c5 e3 yeah, yeah. i i saw so many of these structures from various slavs and uh, various uh, openings and i never liked these structures for white um so congratulations to anish giri so he won the f- uh, his semi final uh, first match first and match. Uh, he just needs uh, to draw tomorrow's match so we will see how how it goes and um, we'll jump pushing, yeah yeah now now it's an it's important question how to bring this knight uh, you know some square where he can uh, yeah. actually take it so he needs knight g8 knight e7 uh g5 knight g6 <laughs> i still don't see it but <laughs> at least i can keep some uh, some chance because after you get the knight to e7 he might just put the queen on d8 and then how do i move this but can't you for example put the queen on c5 then go knight e7 knight c6 yeah th- that is uh, no but that's why he will play queen okay. d6 that's the problem uh maybe maybe he should have uh, gone for queen e7 first so that after queen d6 yeah? a queen was there i didn't oh, see yeah, yeah. ah but then why didn't he just bring the knight and then bring queen somewhere and so maybe on queen d6 is all the same but yeah yeah queen h5 uh, i think he will go for king f2 i don't see queen g5 okay king f3 yeah, I mean, he can play this forever, h5, h4, yeah. you know, just push a little bit here and there. Yeah, and... yeah, absolutely, h5, h4. Uh, the only thing he needs five. is to get this knight somehow. That, that's the only thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but Nepo doesn't want to allow this. So h5, is he going to play h4? But well, then allows g4 square, so... Yeah, yeah, bishop actually, h4. Three, but... Queen g4, bishop g2. g5, I have bishop f3. It's insane. <laughs> it's yeah. insane that uh, uh, this kind of, uh, I mean, it looks very simple, <laughs> but <laughs> it's very tricky because once the knight comes uh, from g8 to e5, yeah, uh, then it's, uh, then it's uh, great for black. But how do, how does he get the does, knight? Can can he allow queen e7, queen e7, knight e7? Because then you, because again, it's not clear. Bishop b5, for example, yeah? Yeah, I, I, actually that that's uh that's probably the end because you just go king f3 king yeah. f4 and you stay yeah. and uh, it's not enough uh like let's say two pawns versus pawn would be a draw which my, my point is that if you man if you are exchanging these two pawns all i need to keep is just one so these yeah, two yeah. i don't care i mean not that you are able to win those pawns yeah, yeah. Uh, so fast uh and um uh, yeah, queen g4 has been played, e4 is attacked, yeah, of course, this is, uh, okay, but, yeah, he just stays. Yeah. He stays. Ah, no, g5 he wants, okay. 
he wants g5 is it like a soup swung <laughs> actually it is it is because uh, let's say if black plays he will go for uh, king to g7 and then you can just give check and he cannot triangulate king g <laughs> <laughs> no he cannot no no he cannot uh, and uh, i cannot move the king and i cannot move the bishop because of queen h3 and knight g4 but if he goes knight g8 then you can move the bishop yeah yeah absolutely if knight goes uh, to g8 yeah but uh, i have to defend the uh, g5 square as well as d, uh, d1 okay he went queen d7 i expect g5 i mean if he doesn't play g5 there is nothing here yeah what else to play huh? yeah g5 oh maybe just queen no uh, maybe just bishop f3 queen h3 h takes g5 and uh, because knight g4 uh, check on h2 i just stay take on g3 yeah i thought something like this but uh, it looks a bit risky but uh, yeah let me try of course you yeah. can uh, capture yeah, yeah. this but then i somehow will remove these two pawns and yeah, yeah, yeah. make a draw <laughs> i'm not sure uh, because you don't have a check i mean these three pawns are controlling yeah. these three yeah, squares yeah. <laughs> it's a funny funny position in fact yeah. <laughs> uh yeah i think bishop f3 i think this game uh, should be heading towards a draw yeah okay he played g5 but now let's see if he goes bishop f3 i mean he has more than enough time again <laughs> i think uh, jan has more more time than uh, all his opponents yeah, than, anybody. He, than anybody because if he has less time it means something is wrong for uh, yeah. in his position so yeah so the difference between a zugzwang and mutual zugzwang i think alex can explain it better <laughs> so <laughs> Actually, it's a tsuk all the same. I mean, it's like whoever gets the move loses. So if it's yeah. mutual, then whoever gets. And then if it's a tsuk the one who is playing loses. Yeah. Basically, it's the same thing. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing. Okay, but but then if, if Nepo wins this match, then Carlsen and So have to come back tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's it's big. Uh, you know, putting the pressure on. Yeah, pressure on and uh, not easy not easy um, however okay they uh, um, all these all the players have played a lot of games so some of them might be you know tired or something yeah bishop h5 indeed has been played um what else can he do queen h3 does it oh, make he took any on e3 or what? yeah he took on e3 but then it's just a draw right? ah no he wants to take g takes h6 queen h3 king to f2 and queen h5 uh well he will play he something yeah but yeah he will play but i i doubt very much if this yeah just just a draw yeah just the, yeah yeah just a draw yeah it's funny i thought i mean yeah as funny as they look these three pawns actually limited <laughs> white black knights severely yeah 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 yeah, of course, uh, this knight, e5 pawn stopped f6, uh, knight f6, and uh, e4 pawn stopped this knight f5. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but wait, what what do we have here? g takes f7. Ah, he's trying to win. <laughs> of course, he will try to win. <laughs> okay, so f8. No, it's, uh, it's black to play. Okay, it's sure. Ah, just queen uh, h5. King d2. Yeah, just king d2, queen h5, and queen e6, and it's draw. Yeah, queen f6, anything is a draw. I mean, he will still play for a while. <laughs> yeah, of course, he has nothing to lose. <laughs> e6. Maybe not even e No, I don't know, queen e6. Just keep uh, yeah e6 okay Nepo doesn't care so king somewhere e3 maybe yeah. yeah king e3 absolutely yeah okay c c3 yeah he he will just take the king as far as uh, from the queen from the not to not to have any kind of uh, forks yeah 
and that's that's what i'm yeah now he'll give a million checks to gain some time and yeah. then he'll try to win some pawns if he can i'm not sure yes. so I mean, king b1 king a1 where does he need to put the queen in order to move the knight and then so, uh, uh, I mean, it will soon end. And uh, yeah. before that, uh, we uh, I want to ask, uh, I mean, if it's not secret, uh, like, can you share us some uh, future programs or plans of uh, ACP? Like, not concrete, but you can say something. Yeah, like I said, okay, we, we want to, to, to transition to this think tank, uh, mm -hmm. like, organization, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... I think we should work more on the like opening towards the the, the community, you know, like okay. not only the chess professionals, not only the grandmasters, international masters, but pretty much everybody, you know, to kind of get more united, you know, in a way. Okay. So I think this is like an like we will try. I mean, I can't say. I mean, oh, okay, it's a draw, yeah. So we have yeah. always been understaffed, and uh, yeah. It's always been difficult to work because I, I mean these functions are all vol voluntary. I mean we are all di yeah. dividing our free time to do some sure. charity yeah. work for the ACP. You know. Yeah, because I I, I guess all of you uh, the board members and uh, the uh, like uh, president secretary and all the members are uh, like voluntary. Uh, yeah, of course, absolutely, work. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we take away time from our families, from our work, from everything to do some work for the ACP to try to help the, yeah. the community to do something better for chess and so on. So, again, it's it's difficult to ask of people to work mm -hmm. harder or do something when mm -hmm. they're working for free, you know. So, Absolutely. I mean, it, uh, Absolutely, so, yeah. okay, everybody's doing what they can. And hopefully, like, when we, if we, when we open up, uh, yeah. well, people will come up with ideas and it, this will be more stimulating for everybody. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, I I think this is the end of uh, today's uh, yeah. round, and uh, tomorrow we will have a very interesting battle as uh, two matches uh, were decided. Like uh, two matches were decided, and uh, tomorrow um, Wesley and uh, Magnus will try to fight. Yeah, they have to come back, and I mean it's not improbable. Yeah, yeah yeah no i want to see uh you know fighting chess and uh yeah, for yeah. me it, it doesn't matter uh, that much who uh you know who wins obviously uh i, I don't pick like i want this person yeah, to yeah, win yeah, or sure, something sure. <laughs> i play against them uh yeah of course in other tournaments um but uh lovely having you uh on the show and yeah. uh explaining Sorry. uh explaining uh, uh like uh, your views on the games plus uh, chessable and also about the you know general impression about acp and other yeah. things and uh, thank you very much uh, for, yeah, thanks for uh, having me harry yeah and all the best for your future uh, courses on uh, yeah, chessable thanks. you too you too hopefully you also continue with your good work yeah i have one course coming up uh, nice. probably uh, some sometime soon uh, so thank you, thank you everyone uh, who um, who uh, who are watching and uh, you know interacting with us. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, same time, we are going to uh, talk about uh, the second day of uh, semi-finals. Uh, a big task ahead for uh, Magnus Carlsen and uh, So Wesley. Let's see how uh, how it is going to be, and uh, we will have. Uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, Marcus Rager and uh, David Navara who will be joining us along with uh, Jesse, who, who who has been, you know, handling a lot of things uh, here in the stream. So uh, do uh, do follow the channel and uh, support us, and uh, definitely uh, join us tomorrow. We'll have lots of fun. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye.